Grim! Grim, you gotta change your reactive, bro! I'm doing that oh, no. right I'm doing that right now. I was telling you, and you're like, go now. I'm like, okay. Oh, well. I oh no. Oh, I didn't. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> it's fine. We'll do it live. <laughs> We're doing it live. <laughs> I just saw <thought> it. <laughs> it's okay. It's yes, fine. Hey, hey everybody. Welcome. Welcome, That's everyone. Going. Hello, everybody. That's I hope we're all the... having a good time. <laughs> That's going on the list for shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome all of our Digi Destined. Also Grimjack. <laughs> it's Fugi Tech's not working right now. Oh uh -oh. boy. Uh oh. It's, it's just loading. It's not. Oh, you might need I to think, open I, it. I, 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 like, I, I uh, refresh it. I think it's There you go, it. there you go. We got there. Radio. <laughs> it should it should adjust. <laughs> Grim special guys, guest episode. <laughs> so guys, big news. It wasn't just Ipmon who digivolved. Rhino also digivolved into Grimjack. <laughs> we did it, guys. Oh, We're proud form. of us. <laughs> That's his champion form. <laughs> Grim is in fact a champion. It hasn't changed yet. We're over five. Well, I Pyro screamed and cut this. out. Something happened, but I don't know what. I just heard Jesus Christ, and then he cut out. Hey, is he still with us? So the fuel Do I need to open up Streamlabs? For the first time ever, the fuel oh gauge is in the second tier. Wait, what oh, stealth's up. Get three hot, my dog. Oh, that, that, that. <laughs> Why? Every time. Every time. We can't, Dear I can't God. Break. I cannot catch a break. I we cannot... haven't even started the goddamn show yet. I cannot yeah. catch a break. <laughs> this <laughs> is the show. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> Welcome everybody just... to Did You Destiny. God, ah. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just. I'm just gonna go into the important stuff that needs to be said now. Because yeah, Pyro, please, please, before we start breaking down as a as a species. Okay. Just want to please oh, say okay. thank you. Hi. Thank you. Hi. At the beginning of this stream, uh, there's a couple of things. One, there's some new modifications that have been made that I wanted to tell you guys about. And then I promise we're going to get in to your adversity token donation slash your, your giving Van Mon precious fuel. The first time ever it's been the second tier i don't know what fucking happens if we reach all five tiers it'll probably fucking gain sentience or some shit what uh, do you mean they're five tiers <laughs> oh god all five? Ah! listen <laughs> tiers three through five were purely theoretical when it when it when it becomes Omnimon. when it becomes sentient and sees all of us can we just all be its fathers <laughs> Father, Daddy. Okay. Father, why okay. am I alive? Okay, so you gave me these movements um, and did not teach me to use them. We have added to. Uh, we tried to on the last stream. It didn't work out so well. We made some modifications and now it works right. We have added a night bot to the chat. It has some functions for you guys. We want to tell you about. How many functions? One. Uh, if you're not a member of it already. Uh, please consider joining the Discord so you can join the party even after these streams are over. You can talk about uh, Digi Destiny if you want to in the hashtag Digi Dash Destiny uh, chat in the Smuck Squad server. This command right here, if it's working right, should bring up bada bing the link to the Smuck Squad server. Oh my, okay. Okay, well, it, and works. Then, it works. It works properly. 15 more on the pile. All right, I will get there, I swear. Um, if you uh, want to make me scream more, you can also at any point type in this command and then you can get the link to donate if you want to. Donations allow. Yes, I'm going to keep getting louder every time you do this to me. Uh, Take them out. <laughs> donations <laughs> allow us to have inspiration tokens, Inspira inspiration, uh, adversity tokens, adversity. which Hi. help us 
have ways to get out of troubling situations, depending on what what amounts we spend and so on like that. Pyro. Yes? I think they know how to donate. I think they're rubbing it on faces. Fucking, we found Pyro's volume button, but it only goes up. <laughs> It cannot go down. It's not allowed. If you donate now, <laughs> we can make sure that everyone on the planet Earth hears Pyro. <laughs> oh. and also, those on in the space station. Oh, God. Also, we have uh, this command right here. You can type in at any point if you want to see these lovely uh, stat graphics uh, that tell you uh, the stats for the different Digimon and Tamers. Uh that Red Beast has put together. Uh, at any point, you can just click into that link and you'll be able to keep up speed on things. Uh, and then, lastly, among the commands, the denotions are Pyro's volume button. <laughs> lastly, among the commands, we also have, at any point, you could type... Oh, wow. Why did I... I tried to spell dive and I hit the wrong buttons and it almost spelled divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Pyro... What I would never know? leave you. Not even once. I'm gonna digi-divorce you. <laughs> digi-divorce. You okay, see before so, you. Do, do I need to get the voice mod over there? <laughs> no, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> is that one not working? Oh, there it goes. Oh, there okay. it is. It's, it's it a little a delayed. Second. It's a little delayed. So anyway, uh, the first one there before the, uh, the stat one the, being the second one. Uh, that right there is your way to submit any questions you would have for the upcoming Digi Destiny Dive stream we'll be doing, which is basically a Q&A stream where we'll be answering your questions and then those among us who are available for it. Uh, if we're lucky, it'll be everyone. If it's not everyone, it'll be most of us. We can also take those questions and stuff and have fun with you guys in, the, in that in a more of a, a laid back non-game setting stream. Uh, so, uh, that is everything functionally there. Uh, the last thing I wanted to say is if you guys choose to, yes, now is the go good time to be, uh, donating those because any of the adversity token stuff only takes effect on either the beginning, the middle break, or, uh, we tally and add things at the end of the stream. But if you want stuff to affect the beginning of game, or if you want stuff to affect the second half of game, then they have to be in those periods. None of it takes effect during stream. We do not break immersion. We do not interact directly with chat during uh, stream. So that's how that works. If, if if you want to though, and you have to get going or something like that, you know, you know, you got, you got to mow your cat or whatever. Uh, the old mean saying is, um, you know, you can do it, and we'll we'll read it out. And of course, we're, this is botted. So, um, you will check it out if you want to. So, no need to worry if you miss both the breaks. <laughs> there have uh, been people who have donated between and, streams. It's, as it's always, Pyro will freak out and yell about what your uh, donation was and what the message was. The fact <laughs> that it keeps happening. The fact that I'm like, hey guys, we're getting ready to start stream. And someone goes, hey, I donated after stream was over or before it happened. And I'm just like... Why? We're gonna. We're Why? Gonna you, you could do. You could wait. Way. <laughs> Three of you. We're gonna. At Go some ahead. point, somebody's gonna donate a certain amount, and we're gonna find out which which donations affect the pitch of Pyro's voice, and we're gonna just like invent a series of bots that make him sing various songs. What's gonna happen <laughs> actually is that I will just Pyro. like record Pyro's voice at certain levels, and then I'll just make buttons on my yeah, soundboard because I have access to making buttons on here, where I can just be like. All right, we got a donation of X amount of value, and here's a here's a clip of pirate is going like what? <clears throat> also, I apparently forgot to upload Dustmon to the stats sheet, but so I've just uploaded him now to the to that link. Huzzah! <laughs> okay. So if you go ahead and refresh now, you will see Dustmon there. Spoilers: Dustmon has joined the roster. We're gonna get. <laughs> I don't know why. I... There's a part of me. That's like, I'm not mad at them. I appreciate what you guys are doing for us. <laughs> Believe you me, we all do. Yeah. Oh, yes. You guys are incredible. Time, Thank you, Highway I'm Boy. I'm just like, how, how dare you? How fucking dare you be this nice? <laughs> how dare they Especially when we're not me. here. Yeah. Like, I'd rather okay. it, you do it when we're here. There is. I'll be supporting you financially, Wazowski. 
I have to get on. into a hundred dollars accumulatively that happened when the stream wasn't on. You're enforcing this with your reactions. <laughs> so you this is why they're doing it, and I, I approve it. I approve of this. How many Should times I... do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> Should I? Go speaking ahead and speaking get of old men, we'll donations. we'll get to that next session. <laughs> well, boy, yeah, go, go right ahead. Get into the donations so that way I can start adjusting my own stats on things, both for myself and for Van Mon. Because I started making my own personal notes. Because all of my notes that I wrote down of like, hey, here's how many tokens Van Mon has versus myself, I've run out of paper. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so if anything, anybody says anything directly to me, I cannot see the chat right now because the same screen that was at is the screen that I used to see the donation. So just bear the with money me. Money is too powerful, yes. Um, and again, sometimes uh, names don't show up right. So if you want to make sure that your, your name is read, please also say it in your message. Uh, bear with that there. But anyway, okay. So last stream, after it was over, uh, we ended up with one <laughs> donation from... Autumn Woodham, that was five dollars, and it says to our Warrior of Darkness, Dustmon, show your enemies the power of a champion, and that means that our good boy Reiner is gonna get one adversity token. There Ooh. you go. They get only up. one. Oh, yep. okay. Only the entire game. game. Oh, <laughs> just, just the one. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. well thank was... god duskmon is still duskmon for some reason it's just forever duskmon now <laughs> we're going i mean hey, hey you have you, you haven't reverted him yet we'll get there i, I don't know how <laughs> to be fair nobody does yet <laughs> welcome to digimon tamos <laughs> next up our good buddy the vn veteran while we were not even streaming this was nine days ago just out of the freaking blue, uh, gave us $60 and says, you guys use these like candy. So you get some more. Two tokens for everyone, including our beloved DDMM, Digital Dungeon Monster Master. Oh, I love that. <laughs> uh, and Do the Monster Mash. <laughs> Also, sorry for last donation's failed joke. It was one token as a high five to everyone, but I messed it up. That's okay. Yeah, Listen, that's fine. I mess up jokes all the time. My parents messed up a joke by making me. Ah. This ah. is why he's not in the wedding sessions. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so that's two tokens no, to sorry. everybody else. But wait, oh, yep. Okay, so adding two on mine here. And I realized I wasn't even on the low 20. Enjoy it, everybody. Have fun. <laughs> and next up, uh, it did the blah, blah, numbers weird oh. thing at the top. However, uh, it says in the message, Botluck Productions here. And yes, I do know you're in the chat there today. I hope you're having a great day, buddy. Uh, they said Impmon was going to help, but then you digivolve into Duskmon, and I have beef beef with oh, yeah. Duskmon from Rumble Arena 2. It's personal now. Nick, here is some war aid. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> so Nick <laughs> just yeah. got thirty-five dollars worth. Oh, well my God. So hey, that's Nick. what seven tokens. Yep. Hey Nick, I think the scales have been balanced. I, yeah, I think we're I think we're back to a, a, an equivalent I, level on things. I think Duskmon's gonna get another hole through his chest. I, mean, I can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> I can't. What? Dusk, oh. Duskmon with two holes in his chest. Where did these come from? <laughs> How could I he not see it coming? I can't believe Grim got a second Digivolution. <laughs> We yeah, he got champion before everybody else got rook. <laughs> he got <laughs> ultimate before everybody else got champion. That's bullshit. Uh, okay, next up, we have Liam M, who donated Quick $10 question. and says... Quick question. Oh, go ahead. How mad would he be if all of us Digivolved to Duskmon? 
<laughs> <laughs> Surprise, everyone. We all have the same champion form. Give, give Oops, me all one. dusk, man. Me, me, pulling up to me pulling up a token generator, just being like, don't worry about it, guys. I just have a question. How is Chase going to pull that off? No, it's just all of us doing the voice. Yeah, oh, everyone's, okay. everyone's doing an impression. Oh, yeah. It's Imagine just my, like, hey, he sounds like Terrier Man. It's like, hey, Duskmon, how you doing? And then Chase with, like, the multi-filter on going, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so next up, and these are the ones from this stream today. Y'all Yeah, let's, let's go with that throwing. first. <laughs> oh, boy. So here, here we go. Here's the live stuff. Uh, Liam M donated $10 and said, I'm not much of a stream watcher, and it's pretty late for me, but I'm excited to watch the VOD tomorrow. Uh, throw the tokens at the player who needs them the most. Also, they said, All Force Vandramon X Antibody uh, 2006 anime version. Otherwise, <laughs> have a good game? Wait a minute. <laughs> throw them it's at if the nobody needs them. If nobody needs them, they all go to Vandramon. Oh. All Force Vandramon X Antibody, which is yeah, his exactly. most powerful form. Uh, you know what? I'm willing to say that, you know what? Throw all of those tokens at Vanmon. <laughs> okay, so there's two points. Two I mean, going that's, to, to be fair, to be fair, and we're about to hit a point where this won't matter a whole lot. To be fair, <laughs> they said give them to the player who needs them the most, which I would interpret as whoever has the lowest uh, adversity first. I and then mean, if everybody's maxed out, that's that's Old Force Vandermon. If that's the case, then congratulations, Riot. You got those tokens. Hey! Because you have the lowest amount, as far as I'm seeing. Oh, how much do you have? I, I see well, three. Well, I had three, <laughs> oh, and now I have I'll five. Do, yeah, I'll definitely. There you go. I'll be, so sure, be sure to add six. your tokens properly. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it when people give me adversity tokens because I keep spending them in stupid ways without trying. I'm not trying to, but I do. <laughs> I know, buddy. We yeah, give him a Reiner. Stupid. He shows results. <laughs> <laughs> He's got results on here. I got my, my rock. Result, <laughs> my results, you mean rock. <laughs> rock. Oh my, oh my, come I on, know, it's okay. We know yeah. you're not stupid why, on purpose. Why would you choose paper? Rock's the best one. <laughs> Now. I need to get a, like a, a a tool that like has a rock that comes back to me, like something like a boomerang. <laughs> Out tree, come back to me. Captain America Stop shield. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Not not, we're just not gonna, any we're, of you. Stop. We're just Setzer. gonna make you Captain Boomerang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Setzer, what did down. what did he do? Fucking Setzer did there. another donation. Did Setzer do it again? Come on. So maybe what? come over there, young man. We haven't what even started he... yet! What? Are we not gonna provide area? content first? Okay, we have okay. Man. Two, three. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh roll my god, into we're so close. I'm gonna roll into him. <laughs> okay. Autumn, sure, let's go. Let's let just go. Just go. Autumn Woodham uh, did uh, another one specifically today. Five dollars. Finally, we get to catch the stream live. And Z's go to Van Mon. So another one to Van Mon. Do not tell me right now, but at the end of the stream, I just want to know how many adversity tokens Vanmon has. I, I I can see what number Vanmon's at right now. I'll let you know at the end. <laughs> okay, I'm curious. Let, let, let me know when any more go go to Vanmon, and then we'll. we'll he's just an add NPC him up. that can't die. You know, it's like he's invincible. Like, I mean, Nick, to be fair, he's only Vanmon is only taking damage. He's never died. <laughs> can I ask a favor? It's. It's honestly the same thing as like, could anyone beat Goku? And it's like, Goku has canonically died multiple times. Garfield has <laughs> never even bled. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just got back. Why is everyone laughing? I was doing a laugh. Uh, Gar Gar Garfield's stronger than Goku. Uh, I, guess, I guess. I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, Who, who's asking people? questions to me? Sure, what's up? Uh, Storm is. Uh, if Venmo never does meet his untimely end, can it, he just explode and get 1d6 of damage in the explosion per point he has? Like some sort of goddamn explosive charge? Well, sorry, It's not even gonna look like an explosion at that point. It's just gonna delete everything in a sphere. You said 1d6 <laughs> per point that he has as of the moment he ex he dies. Yes, like a divine smite in Pathfinder. And you want that to be... How big do you want the area of effect? Theodore's choice. 
wipe us out. <laughs> I, I'll just let you know right now, if that happens, one, no, this is on you, and two, <laughs> you better stay away from the blast radius. <laughs> okay, guys, there's, I'll be in Hiroshima. <laughs> there's, a, there's a fucking college humor clip that's like, Reika, how many, and she's like, 20. It's like, for the like, love start of God, lower, start I lower. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's gonna be. <laughs> How big is the explosion? Twenty. By, by, by the way, uh, of you. Uh, by the way, Chase, you're too low. Yeah, yeah, oh my God, it's a tier three. <laughs> what do you mean it's a tier three? Tier Come three on! For the first time ever. Okay, I'm doing this. We're going. Here we go. Keep, keep going, going. Yeah, keep we're Pyro. Please, going to we're, we're gonna be here forever if you don't I let know, it happen. I know. I know. That's why. Okay. No more questions at the moment. Let me just power through these and then questions. Okay. So, Setzer had donated 300, and they said, Greetings, DigiDestin. It is I, the not-so-humble watcher, and as celebration for the first Digivolution, I provide more adversity tokens, adversity and power for our Lord and Savior, Vanmon, Five adversity tokens to all players and Digital Master, with the rest going to Vanmon. That's 200, oh, excuse me, 120 that should go to Vanmon then, if the math is right. So, so, um, so here's the thing. If we yeah. each get five, that's, that's, that's like $25 per, per person. Uh, and there's six of us. That's $150 of the inspiration. The remainder of half of it would go to Vanmon. In theory, yes. So, uh, so Chase, what, what's what's the math on this one that you that you, that you calculated for everybody? It's it's $300, so it is it, it five tokens five. per person. Yep. So that is 30 tokens to Vanmon if this math shakes out. If so, hold up, 30 times five is $150 yep. and then there's another 150 left so that's 150 left so 150 divided by six is $25 worth to everybody so everybody would get five everyone would get five tokens which would mean <laughs> that 30 goes to Van Mon. yep what? All right, cool. Everybody, we've added five. 30 d6 damage to the explosion that is Van Mon. All right, oh, everybody boy, take everybody uh... take five. I'll take my five. Okay. Meteor swarm, <laughs> which means thirty goes to Van Mon. Oh no, when I'm done. concerned because, like I said, I set a number for Van Mon before he gained sentience. I set a number in advance. Oh, I no. am now concerned. <laughs> Listen, this is the same thing as giving a god HP because it <laughs> yeah. means they can die. <laughs> Yeah, yes it does! <laughs> yes it does! Okay, uh, Pao, go. Okay. Yeah, ev right, everybody take your going. five and keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Midnight Sky donated $15 and says, Hello, Smucks. Midnight, aka Sarah again. I hope to get plenty of hilarity tonight. I hope you got some so far. <laughs> uh, I shall give an adversity token to Riot one to Nick, and one to Vanmon. If Riot is full on adversity tokens, then the extra token shall go to Nick from the Princess of Chaos. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for the token. I much appreciate it. You're, yeah. you're not capped out yet, right? now. No. yeah, you're still good. So perfect, take it. <coughs> and then you got so one, and then one more is going to Vanmon. Oh god. Okay, yep, I'm still keeping an eye on Van Mon's token, sweet. Mm. That's great. <laughs> and next Man. up, we yeah, have Yeah, keep going. Hot I may be mispronouncing this. Uh I can't see the chat right now, but tell in the chat and they can let me know if I if I said it wrong and you can put it out. Hyron we'll Boy. Uh hey yo guys. Hope y'all's adventure tonight goes well. I would like to donate three points to my wonderful friend Nick and the other two to best boy the other two best boy Gary. Woo! Okay. Aww. Hey, looking go. forward to the stream. Two points for Gary. 
I, I just got to live what it's like to be Gary IRL because I forgot that I put a cliff bar in my pocket like 30 minutes ago. And I was like, <laughs> man, I'm hungry. I could really use a snack. And I just fucking produced a cliff bar from thin fucking air. <laughs> and that's that's what having the prepared ability is like, I guess. Man, I spent two adversity tokens. tokens and I got food. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Hot diggity. Now we have, uh, might be unexpected, um, Setzer again. You. What? God damn it, Setzer. <laughs> Come on. They put $50 on this one and said, <laughs> can Vanmon DNA digivolve with Blimpmon into Ario Vanmon? Arrow Vanmon. Arrow Vanmon. <laughs> okay. Uh, that DNA digivolve again with Submarimon into Alt Force Banmon, and finally once more with Grand Locomomon to turn into Alt Force Vanmon Future Mode, all to Vanmon again. Oh my God! So that's that's ten that's tokens ten. for Vanmon. Uh huh. All right, give me a moment. I need to. All right. All right, what that's ten more tokens to Vanmon. Yeah. Like like I said, I set a value for Vanmon. We have technically not reached that value, but I'm still scared. Something <laughs> still. So I know like a lot of streamers have like nicknames for chat, like Cheer Squad or whatever. I, I nominate a name problem for you guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm half tempted. You guys are. You guys hey, what's up, problem children? How we doing? <laughs> I'm half tempted no, to have. Actually, like, wait, we, we we can't call them problem children because otherwise, uh, we're we're gonna get ups we're we're gonna get people saying so. When's problem children episode three? It, Listen, I, the problem know. children are donating from another world, aren't they? Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm half tempted to try and have Riot fiddle with and try and like give the car a GPS and something goes haywire or something. I don't know. It's possible. I don't know. <laughs> I'll fun. buy a GPS while I'm out. I'm going to be so upset if next stream, episode six, when that happens, I'm just going to open up with, what's up, problem children? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the carpool is so huge. The carpool is unstoppable. That's what I'm it, calling it really Van is. donations. And the here's the problem is that none of you, technically speaking, as players, have pulled from the Van Mon pool yet. Oh, we yeah, don't know how. You don't know how yet, but here's the thing. If you guys ever asked, hey, Nick, I don't have any tokens, but could I pull from the pool? You could. The problem is, is that none of you have, so Vanmon continues to grow. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering about that. Just go to get into van my fucking van next time, and we see pulsing veins on the side of it. It's like, oh, <laughs> it's you're, you're, you're going to park the van, come back out, and be like, why is my van glowing? I'm I, I very concerned. That. Hello. I love that. Hold your toes. Last one. I hope. Uh, so, Alec Reef uh, donated $20. And they yeah. said, I fear for Dustmon with the possibility of getting a hole in his chest. So, here's some points to protect oh yourself. God. So, Reiner, use them well. So, that is four adversity tokens to Reiner. I like how... I like how Dustmont alone prompted two tokens to the DM and then two to Rhino. Uh, now <laughs> now I'm full. All right. So All right. you capped okay. out. Way to go. We, we did it, boys. Okay, so I love that you just gave your character a fan just because you thought it'd be neat. And now we're here. Like, literally, <laughs> like, Chase came to me on a whim and said, Can I have this? And I said, Sure. And suddenly Ooh. it has become. It has become a source of joy. <laughs> we, yeah, the, uh, uh, always what an excellent financial decision I, I, I made. I with can't wait for most of an item. I can't wait for Van Man Mon. Van Man Mon. Oh God. <laughs> I, oh God. I, I feel like what's gonna happen is Nick is gonna fucking gut punch us. She's gonna be in the middle of like, all right, guys, where should we go next? Not only like this place over here, this place over here. Van Mon does a full Transformers sequence into an Optimus fucking prime shape. And it's like, I think we should go here. It's like, <laughs> wow, thanks, Van Mon. Also, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till we get to the Swamp of Sadness and we lose Van Mon. No! What the? Why do you keep doing <laughs> this? 
Oh, Dex, get out of the swamp. So many dark things happening to Van Ma. <laughs> this is what Storm does. He lulls you into a false sense of security. Well, currently, Van Mon has taken only bits of damage from the firewall, much like all of you took damage from the firewall. So a lot of things from the firewall. Just, just don't, just don't worry about it, guys. When you deal with another firewall, then you can be concerned again. Yes, so Storm's gonna keep like thinking up ways to torture Van Mon, and then someone's gonna donate and be like, "Hey, how much do I have to donate?" to freaking take points away from Gary. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Why Gary? Why did I say Gary? Yeah, I'm sorry, Grayson. Jeez. No, Grayson loves the van. Just the fuck I, the van. I just love the I just love dark humor. I'm just imagining somebody else fucking does some something stupid and everyone's like, man, fuck Gary. <laughs> 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 Screw that guy. You shouldn't have any adversity tokens. It's Joe syndrome all over again. Hey, Gary, I know it's your van, but screw you. <laughs> I didn't break the damn sky, okay? It wasn't <laughs> not, me. Not right. this time, at least. Okay. All right, Listen, Gary, so, you and I, we understand each other. <laughs> while, while we have made it through it, I think this is a good time to basically remind you guys, once we get into uh, stream... Uh, it's radio silence from us talking with chat. We encourage you guys to have fun with each other. Uh, we encourage you guys to, to interact and go like that. But we're radio silent. Any donations that happen during the stream, if you want to do them, cool. But no, they will not take effect until after the, uh, once we get into the next break and so on from there. So that's how that's going to go. Uh, and the last thing I'm going to say, uh, blah, 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 uh, fan art things. If you guys want to, uh, add to our amazing fan art that we have here and I, I i we appreciate to high hack the stuff that you guys have done they're all amazing if you want to add to that pile uh on twitter remember a tag hashtag digi art and uh also tag the smuck squad at the smuck squad when you do those or you can also post them in our server if you want to uh we can bring up that link again uh exclamation point discord brings that up and you can get into there that's all that stuff i think we should get into stuff before something crazy happens again we got a lot of ground to cover i bet oh i would definitely say that we have a lot of ground to cover but for now uh let's go ahead and transition ourselves over pyro and okay. chase if you'd like to go ahead and get us started with the intro on things i'll transition to music <laughs> and we're back! So when last our tale was told, our Digi friends went on a magical journey to the fabled firewall, only to discover it wasn't as advertised. It wasn't made of fire at all! Only violence! And they got a mighty spanking. I don't know if you've ever got your butt kicked by a wall, but you have to fail pretty hard to get spanked by something without hands or feet. But I digress. Thankfully, Impmon died. But sadly, thanks to Reiner's bond, Impmon found the strength to come back from the dead and digivolve. Just like that what's-his-name guy from Nazarek or whatever. So Duskmon, aka the artist formerly known as Impmon, destroyed the wall and was super cool and made all the friends. Well, he made all the friends piss themselves anyway. And now our heroes go rolling on into Data City. Will they find affordable parking? Will Riot wake up after having his ribs shattered? Will I, your lovable narrator, get you one of these scripts before 20 minutes to air? They're definitely not this time. Find out today on Digi Destiny! You guys have currently made it to the outside of this central skyscraper that is in the, in the middle of Data City. It is getting later into the day. Riot is still passed out as a result of the damage with the firewall. And it's here that you guys are able to find pretty decent parking, given the fact that there are no cars on the road itself, before you are able to lock yourselves in and get ready to make your way into the tower proper, figure out what's going on, maybe find a place to rest, maybe find a place that will help Riot to recover from all of the damage he's taken over the last few hours, both the ankle and whatever might have popped as a result of the firewall excursion. And everything else has been going on. But you park outside of the tower, and what are you guys doing? You all okay. want to go over to uh, Reinar. Fair enough. 
Hey, uh, dude, uh, just wanted to ch check in on ya. Just kind of doing a double look, double take over to Dustmon. Uh, how are you guys feeling? Uh, what, what do you mean? I mean, that was kind of intense back there. I mean, my this riots passed out, but uh, kind of looked bad for Impond though for a bit. Yeah, it, it did. I'm trying really not to think about it. Just, I, I, I honestly just don't understand what's going on. I, <laughs> I really did think this was a dream. Like, I, all this stuff. This is stuff I've only heard in stories and stuff about being dragged into another world. <laughs> I thought the concept was dumb and it would never be real, but I, I guess here we are. I mean, yeah. I mean, all you guys are here. I This is just surreal. I'll be real, man. When this all started, I just thought it was kind of like, oh, cool. This like talking dinosaur and talking ragdoll. I thought this was just kind of kind of neat. I mean, been in a few fights. That's. I mean, yeah, fighting Ogumon was pretty, pretty tense, but that was I, that, that was different, yeah. I know I'm tough, but I I really thought there was no consequences with the things I was doing. Now, looking back, at what happened to Impmon, I I realize I I really need to be very careful. <laughs> hey, you're talking to the king of not careful. But at the same time, if I didn't do the things I did, would we have turned out okay? I mean, hard to say. Hard. I mean, what's important is we're all okay, and we can we can keep this in mind for next time. I mean, we got another tower we have to turn back on, and another probably another firewall we have to go through. I guess I just. Now that I know this, this is not a, a fake reality and not a dream. It's I, I really need to go home. I, I have people to depend on me. Yeah, my little sister. I didn't know you had a sister. Yeah, it's it's been rough for us, but I've been there supporting her and the rest of my family. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know that, man. I'm sorry. Thanks, you. She's calling now. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 sister. How are we going, everybody? <laughs> sister, is that you? I get cell reception in the digital world. What is this? I'm here to call you, but you call extended warranty. God, God dang it! Every time. Yeah, so, we... look, can you uh, put on sign? I think that'll be a moment. <laughs> No, it was just some random sound in the background. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we, we Sorry, that's over. the sound I make when I burp. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, we ran over a new maman. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. I'm, I'm sure they're okay. I'm sure we can get you back to them soon. I hope so. For now, though, I'll do what I can, and even though the, you know, hey. death is possibly real for us, I, I'll still do whatever I can to protect you guys. I appreciate that. Hey, I have an idea. Maybe when we get to the next tower, maybe we can, maybe we can use, like, Grayson can figure out a way to maybe send a message back home. Let them know you're okay. That, that would be great. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to Grayson about it. We could, I mean, the dude's a wizard. No, I know it. <laughs> One time he got me this, uh, this game that I just, I don't know how. Honestly, I think he can, like, he's hacked, like, the world government, you know. <laughs> Whoa. I would, that's awesome. Yeah. I, yeah, you know. That, that's what I think, though, you know. He's probably even done crazier shit than that. I mean, yeah. Like, like we've seen today. Yeah. But yeah. Thanks for talking to me. I I know I've been a little 
kind of out of it, and I, I really appreciate you checking up on me. Hey, no worries. And I give him a, a gentle slap. You awake yet? What? The, 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 just the Howie first got here, and you told me to hit you. I, I was trying to do a thing. I'm sorry. I ruined it. <laughs> no, no. Again, I, I thought you were a dream. I, 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 I I'm sorry. I, I would uh, have hit you. I probably would have been a lot lighter with my hits. So. Nah, do not. you want me to hit him back? Man, no. I've been hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> Duskmon just like, shink! Like, blade extends from hand. <laughs> that's that's stabbing, not hitting, Duskmon. Please stop. Fucking <laughs> <I can>, like, <laughs> brings his blade like in and out a bunch. Like, shing, 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 shing. I, I've also <laughs> been stabbed before. It was a horrible, horrible economics accident. Stop bringing up past traumas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 oh, sorry. Stop. <laughs> Waymon actually wants to go up to Duskmon. Fair enough. Hey, uh, Duskmon, can I ask you a can I ask you a question? Very well. What was it like actually getting to Digivolve? Incredible. Like, I still feel the power coursing through me. Like, are you still like the yeah, like? Ipmon in there, that that little dumbass, or you, or you like bully someone else now? I'm still stuck on the dumbass comment. Nah, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yeah, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> no, I think he's still in there. <laughs> yeah, 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 he's seen Ipmon's still in there. Gotcha, good to know. Just need to make sure that, uh,. You're still you, you know? And you chose to do this by berating me. No, uh, berating Impmon, not Dust. I, look, I don't know how early evolution affects us. I, I'm just asking. When I was Impmon, I was a hundred times stronger than you, and now you challenge me when I'm a thousand times stronger. <laughs> okay, okay. I see how it you, is. You, you're throwing out numbers that don't mean anything. Like, what's what's the multiplication? Come on. Is that a serious question? Well, seeing as my brains as a play mon is a d6, yes. Duskmon's brains are a d4, so, uh... <laughs> Oh, well. Well, uh, no one really knows what mathematics are. <laughs> so, Gary, you parked the van. Also there with a D Floyd nod stoically. <laughs> so, Gary, you parked the van <laughs> at this point. <laughs> right around where that creature from uh, from last time had kind of pointed your general direction and realized that this is probably the best parking you've ever gotten, even in Earl Vista, which is, like, not a very large town by any stretch of the imagination, but the fact that you're able to get pretty primo parking right outside of a uh, a business building or at least what looks to be it is pretty impressive to say the least you've never gotten this good of parking at your job yeah they make me go to the cell phone lot it's like a 40 minute walk even when the main lot's free <laughs> which is worse God, corporate America everybody <laughs> I looked at a baseball stadium like that once it was fun <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna park the car and just get ready to get out. Hey, by the way, Grayson, I didn't—I didn't mean to eavesdrop on, a, on another conversation, but did you hack the government? Uh, that, that's a—you th didn't say no immediately. No, I, <laughs> that, I, no, I that's didn't. That's what I'm. The same did thing. Not, the same thought. Not say oh, no. Oh, wait, yeah, that, that depends on how you. That depends. It depends on how you. That's it depends. You Look. I, I just happen to know a lot of good torrent sites like Demonoid, Utorrent. Look. Okay, so I got season his level from Paramount once. And then you stopped because they told you to cease and slash or desist. No, I got a VPN. You're gonna I I don't You can't just that's a Dustmon roll, but that's a Gary check. You can't just make up you can't just make up acronyms willy nilly. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it has my browsing activity. 
That's why this stream is brought to you by Surfshark. <laughs> we're not. We're, we're not sponsored. I, we are not, not sponsored by much. any stretch of the imagination. I mean, I mean, I did hack the mail once. Go on. Oh yeah, like I messed up like a presentation sort of thing that he was doing. Just like messed, eh, pranked him with that. Like put up a serial logo. Were you also the one that made him read the entire Independence Day speech? Maybe. <laughs> that was actually I, pretty funny. Yeah. Thank you. I just hate that it won him the election. <laughs> he had not what I was expecting. Yeah. Ah, uh, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Anyway, let's check out this weird building thing. Yeah. Uh. Is anyone Before grabbing I... Riot, by the way? Yeah, Become I'm about to ask ER and uh, Rhino. Like, the two uh, bulkier guys can grab Riot. What you think? Is he, yeah. uh, is he awake yet? He's still unconscious. Flamon is just poking him. <laughs> just the whole time, like, in his thigh. Like, come on, wake up. He's like, poking thing. his cheek. Dad, Fair wake enough. up. Oh, you guys no. make your way yeah. inside of the tower that's before you, and... You see that it transitions from the busy city itself into something more akin to a hotel lobby. There are couches that are kind of spread throughout the area. There are a few different Digimon that are kind of going about just wandering as their way. And you can see that there is a single Digimon that is at what would be considered the concierge area that is kind of just looking over a couple of different screens, looking at the lot of you as you enter. This Digimon itself looks almost akin to, like, a small dog. Um. Hi. Oh, hello there. And welcome. How might I be of assistance today? Do you, do you I have... had... <laughs> Go ahead. I had a sheet completely blocking the token, so I was like, what? Yep. Something on the screen? And then I was, like, I was oh, also, God. I also got the reveal the exact same way. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Get the uh, shit out of me. My shit, my sheets are behind my he, uh, main browser, so I got Good to see Good for Doggo. you. I got to see Doggo, now you all know why I was going Oh, la-dee-da. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> you. Good for you. But yeah, so, uh, Rooms, that's what we want, right? Yep. Yeah, we, yeah. Yeah. Uh, can we get like a couple of rooms for us and our Digimon? Friends? We can certainly accommodate that. Is your associate there having difficulties? Kind of like looking over at Riot, who is still slumped over as you guys are carrying him in. Yeah, we're hoping to. Do you have like a pharmacy here that we can uh, look through? At the very least, a general store nearby. I can certainly attempt to provide some pres uh, assistance, if it possible. Just lay him over on the couch there, and I'll get to him in a moment. Uh, eat. Uh, go you, over and read you know, him. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. That was right. Uh, he has, he has been through a lot, so he knows how to handle a wounded body. So he's just gonna help lay him down. I know Fair how enough. to handle a wounded body. Yeet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he all would do that to himself, like, ah, oh, yes, two weeks on a broken leg, I can skateboard again. Just imagining the family guy pose as he's on the ground. <laughs> yeah. um, a very slight improvement from the Yamcha <laughs> pose he was in earlier. Just a little bit. If ER ever takes a lot of damage, please put me in either the family guy pose or the Yamcha pose. I will. <laughs> we'll, we'll consider it. So, uh, you go ahead and you put ER over on the couch nearby. Uh, you see this dog-like creature kind of just like tapping away at a uh, at a keyboard with a Aww. monitor nearby. Will you need multiple rooms, or will you just need all one large suite? Uh, that depends on the price. And also well, how many... See. How and he many like beds on the room? Well, we have plenty of availabilities for the most part. It's been a while since we've had individuals such as yourselves. I've only heard about it as a result of the uh, leader of the city. The but... Leader. And he kind of like taps away uh, a little bit more to his keyboard. If you're looking for individual rooms, we do have some twin rooms available. 
Meaning we'd have to spend for about three rooms proper. Uh, adding on to the costs as well as asso helping out your associate. That should be 500 bits per night. I have 300. Yeah, I also have... I, have, I got 320. Is mm. Okay, here, here's my thought. We will cover the... The room... And we'll just have Ryan pay for his own medical expenses. <laughs> A question, is that total or in individually? That is 500 total for the rooms. Oh, thank God. Alongside the medical services I'd be providing to your associate. Well, without the medical associates, what if we just let him walk it off? <laughs> without the medical assistance, 420 <laughs> bits. How so? Any for less, like without the medical assistance, it's twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, so this d d digital world is based in America. <laughs> uh, so we'll just see if I, eh, right, we reimburse us for any medical fees. Uh, can, yeah, can I'll, the I'll put... other players pickpocket Riot. I mean, you can if you'd like, if you want to try and grab his stuff. Mechanically, yes, but characteristically... Would, would you be willing, is the question. Uh, Terriamon will. 320 <laughs> bits. Okay, Terriamon will pickpocket Riot. Fair enough. <laughs> Thank you, Mario. Uh, so, <laughs> criminal. Make sure to let me, old gremlin mode. Let me know how much each uh, amount of money you guys are investing into your uh, your stay for the evening. Uh, I, actually, before we do that... Is there any way that we can like, bring that price down? Do you have any odd jobs that you need taken care of? Any to plagiarize Riot side quests? Hmm, allow me a moment here. And you see Salomon kind of like types on the little keyboard before them. I don't see any immediate jobs that are needed as a result of the, as, as of the mayor proper. But I'm sure there are plenty of jobs around town that you could make yourselves useful with in order to help out the city's production levels. And what's your name? Oh, I apologize. I am Salomon. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Okay, and you see Salomon so... kind of like dips its head down. Cool, cool. Must use this urge to scratch puppy. Okay, uh, so I am I can put down uh, 200 if you guys are okay with covering. Terriamon runs over. I can put down 300. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Terriamon. I didn't know you had money. <laughs> so I'll... Uh... <laughs> I'll just change mine to say twenty. <laughs> Girl, if that's if that's what Terry Mon's doing, sure, go right ahead. <laughs> and if uh, Storm's covering the rest of the cost, you can do that. So I'm putting down two hundred. Terry Mon, you said you're putting down three. I am. Yes, I am rich. All right, cool. Congratulations. So Storm and Riot have covered the expenses for the hotel for the evening, as well as medical expenses. <laughs> Yeah, it was just 500, right? Yeah, 500 total was the amount. Okay, so sure Riot right. covered over half and you covered the rest. Terramon just wearing those like old school Yeezy sunglasses, like making it rain. <laughs> money, <laughs> money, 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 money. Okay, cool. Uh, wait, wait, is that? <laughs> that was going to cost you $200 from the shop. Yeah. All right, so wait, make sure to. Riots, did you advise Terramon? Well, no, it's mine. Puts it back onto my its body. You go body. ahead and you like uh, you press the buttons proper, and the the bit transfer goes through, both for yourself as well as for Riot. Before Salomon kind of like nods approvingly. Very well. Allow me a moment, please. And you see Salomon kind of walks around the concierge table, making their way over to Riot, and they put their paw right onto uh, Riot's chest, and you see a slight glow of light beginning to form. As it does, give me one quick moment here to transition over music-wise. Riot Digivolves. <laughs> Riot. Yes. You are swimming in darkness. So you see mechanical arms beginning to chase after you. You see Datamon shooting out micro-missiles coming directly towards you. You see Vidramon, his arms stretched back, the V on his chest glowing with a bright energy as he prepares to charge a laser at you. You're surrounded. 
What are your thoughts? Why do I feel so dang weak? Why is... I feel weak. I feel alone. And I... I can't be this right now. There are too... There are so many threats here. And I'm supposed to be one of the stronger ones here. I'm supposed to be able to pull my weight. Yet everything keeps taking me down. What am I gonna do? As you think this, the incoming attacks from all directions slow down. And sitting before you is the data reorganizer. Awaiting your commands. If you can't fight your way out of the problem, build your way out. I need... I need a device that can make me stronger. I need a way to take a hit. And then dish it back. The attacks are still coming your way. Slowly but surely approaching. There's no way for you to dodge. Even with the slowed down time. You remove your belt from your pants. You open out the data reorganizer. You shove the belt into the data reorganizer. You start mashing buttons. You're not sure what you're hitting at this point. You're like, please, just make it work before an audible ding sound goes off. And suddenly, your eyes open, and you see a small dog with its paw on your chest looking at you. Welcome back! Did I make you? At which point, Salomon kind of looks towards the rest of the group. Your friend makes some odd suggestions, to say the least. Is this how they normally are? <clears throat> ah, welcome back, Wyatt. Uh, where? Was I? Was I out? You died. <laughs> he didn't die. <laughs> okay, I was trying to be dramatic. Okay. I, I just lean into it and just go, You got knocked the fuck out! <laughs> that last thing I remember... We were fighting... The wall. But Wyatt, that was seven years ago. <laughs> nah, I'm messing with you. I'm Wait, what? You. It was? No, no, oh, God! No, I'm messing with you. I'm oh, sorry. okay. Oh, thank God. Probably... I, th I was trying to do humor. Not bad at that, too. Uh, you scared no, dude. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but yeah, buddy. Uh, we we survived. Uh, I motioned to Desmond. That's Impmon, by the way. What the heck? Are your yeah, vengeance no. coalesced? He's also edgy. He's, he's going no! to that edgy I'm face. normal. It's a normal he's studied the way of the blade. Considering what That's he just true. said, is he supposed to be some kind of sordid Batman? That, he calls himself Duskmon now. I don't know what this Batman top. is, but the implication that he lacks swords means that I am superior. That would be Azrael from uh, the time Batman had to like, put down the outfit because he got his back broken by a big... Oh, shut, shut up. That's cool, that's cool. He can have his back broken. I can defeat him. <laughs> so he yeah. just likes that now. <laughs> I don't know. Right, is he just like this now? Yes, I, I am. No, uh, I am. I well, definitely I, am. There's a button or something. I'm, I'm clicking it. I'm, I'm not going to hesitate. Stop. Stop. Just going to let you know. Don't click yeah, Are you attempting to try don't. and revert Duskmon back to Ipmon? Not 
yet. He's got to do one more thing that makes. You're, you're just you're just kind of fiddling with the digivice just to mess with him. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Play much like. Let's, let's put the digivice down. Let's. <laughs> All let's right. Not. You yeah. you calm down, okay? Yeah, we'll go back. All right. I'm, 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 I know this is new new cool experience for you, but you gotta you gotta you know drop that edginess just you know mm-hmm. a lot. Now I was about to say a tad oh, bit, but uh, a lot. Yeah. Flamon uh, tries mm. to help Riot to his feet. So you kind of got your you got like this because of me. If I didn't like antagonize the wall, Can I, uh, I mean, quick kind of needed to, to go DM through it question. anyways. Yeah, sure. Was I was I healed or am I still injured? You kind of like sit up from the couch and sure enough, you like kind of move your arms, you move your legs. Even like the wounded bit of ankle that you had from the encounter with Datamon seems fully functional. You stand up and sure enough, there's a few aches and pains, but nothing that feels out of place or broken. Okay. You've you feel as back to normal as you can be, aside from the equivalent of maybe getting in a nice scuffle back when you were younger. I would like to take this time to share with my fellow players that I have had a first aid kit in my inventory this entire time. And I You've already used it. it at least twice. <laughs> maybe yep. once. Uh, yeah, I, it's five uses. I, I think both of them were on me. <laughs> yes, they were. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that those counted as uses. Uh, well, I mean, no, you used the duct tape. That's different. <laughs> Yeah, so I have four uses then. Yeah, you've only used it once. Oh. I, 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 I thought that we had the final use, Adam. Toy mod, don't... It's, it's cool, man. It's not just your fault. Honestly, uh, we're going up against some serious threats here. And this is kind of the first time I'm realizing it's, it's, it's not. I mean... Not a game? <laughs> I guess Sorry, that's the, fair. That was like the only analogy I could think of, buddy. I've kind of thought it was all, like, a lot of it does seem to follow that logic. And it seemed to be working out. But it's not Yeah, feel just... like shit. It's not just Yo, that. We're playing Dark Souls. The stakes are really high, and some of us... If something doesn't change, someone could get hurt in a way that it might we might not come back from. I have I have an idea, kind of. I'm gonna have to do some work. But I okay, think we'll... I can do something to help out. Cool. Uh just so you know we are at a hotel, so maybe we just take some time just to get our bearings. Just before we start wandering around the place, we just sort of rest up. A lot of us are still kind of wounded from that last fight. I don't know. Terriamon needs some time to recover. Good. I'm fine. Terriamon, you have one hit point. I am? Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm yeah. fine. <laughs> What's a hit point? <laughs> Mono Dramon's uh, nose starts bleeding. <laughs> Terriamon also <laughs> just tries to slide uh, Riot's Digivice back into his pocket. <laughs> just with his with his large ears, just slowly slides it in. Yeah, guys, welcome up before I can before I can put this back. At which point, Salomon kind of addresses the lot of you. Right now that the lot of you are all conscious and breathing properly, this should be able to help the lot of you out. At which point, he kind of like slides a uh, a set of keys before you that are on kind of the concierge desk before you that look like uh, wooden tokens for the lot of you each with a various different uh, symbols on them. Your rooms should all be on the fourth floor proper in order for you able to be able to take care of yourselves, rest up well. Ooh, wonderful. Of course, is there anything else I might be of assistance with? Uh, yeah, what can you tell us about the city? What kind of new here? Oh, well, that's completely fair. We haven't had a lot of new visitors in Data City for quite a while, given the fact of the firewalls for a while. It was beyond my time, but let's be fair, it's it's probably for the better on things, at least according to the boss. We've had a lot of production as a result of the firewalls, at least a lot of internal infrastructure and things. Data City wasn't what it used to be a while ago. 
And who is your boss? Oh, right, the boss. He's in charge of Data City proper. He lives on the top of this tower right here. And he kind of like points up a little bit and you can see that the, at least for the lobby, the ceiling goes up for a good at least 30 feet. And you can see a very intricate uh, chandelier like structure with a bunch of different glass and gold bits that are kind of holding it together. He lives on the topmost floor right before the T terminal. Oh, wait, yeah, there's a D wait, terminal the, here. There's a D terminal here. Yes, the boss himself is right below the T terminal proper. He hasn't told us much about it other than that it needs to stay off. Oh, okay. Something about profits. Uh, I was going to ask if we should talk to him, but I no longer feel like we need to talk to him. Hey, guys. So, I think we need to have a meeting right quick. Yeah. Um, have any of you Let's do that upstairs in our room. Yeah. Away from anyone that might want to listen in. Yeah, yeah. So, has anyone seen Enter the Dragon? What's that? Well, in the Game of Death, that's the one I'm thinking of. It's where Bruce Lee has to fight his way through a literal floor of bosses before he gets to the top floor. I mean, I've involved something similar to that. Uh, no, for some reason, I'm not surprised. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't... I haven't seen that one... Grayson immediately starts opening his laptop and see if I can find a torrent for that film. Completely <laughs> fair. Uh, I would assume at this point you guys are making your way over to the elevators. Yeah. So, we're in a D-terminal, and there's a boss on the floor right before the D-terminal. A, a literal boss. Are we going to have to fight this guy? Are we I think it's in possible. the D-terminal, or was he pointing to somewhere outside of the building we're in? No, I think that meant up. Okay. Let's... It's staying off for profits reasons. Profits with a PH or profits with an F? With an F. Capitalism strikes again. <laughs> Salomon oh, yeah. kind of waves at you guys as you make your way towards the elevators. Before yeah, you just make your way up. <laughs> Sure enough, it doesn't take you guys too much longer before you all reach the uh, reach the fifth floor, where, sure enough, you guys can see where your symbols match to at least three different doors where some of you guys are paired up. It's up to you guys to decide who wants to pair up with who in various different rooms, because going in the rooms, there are two, like, twin beds that are available for you. How many rooms do we get? A total of three. Okay. So one person will kind of get a room where they get the bed by themselves, and then the other twin bed can be used for whatever else. I have an idea. What if we get a refund and only use two rooms? Why? It's not just like, you know, sleep in the closet. It's not a big deal. I don't need a bed. Right, it's gonna just grab the key for the solo room. <laughs> He's got things to work on. <laughs> Fair enough. Are you going in with Flame On or are you just going in by yourself? No, with, with Flame On, he can come. Fair yeah, enough. I would think so. You go ahead and you just are, are you closing the door ahead of everybody else or are you just let or just wandering off on your own? Riot's going to go into the room with uh Flame on. He's got some thinking to do. Uh but he's gonna try and figure out this idea of a device that's in his head and see if there's a way to make it real. Completely fair. So wait, what's everybody else doing? Team meeting. Yeah, I thought we were going to do a team. Okay. Yeah, it, it is that, pretty yeah. late at this point that you guys realize. It's okay. Uh, you want to grab a room? Oh, sorry. What did you say? So Gary, uh, you want to split up one of the rooms with me and EO and Rhino grab the other room? Or how do you want to split that? Uh, Sure. That sounds fine. Yeah, I'm cool. good with that. Uh, does Duskma need the other bed? I'll be with you, Gary. I just don't want to be in the uh, room alone with Duskma. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. I do not blame you at all. I, I really don't either. He's a little too big. Yeah, I, I was kind of surprised that uh, Riot just like walked into a room and then closed the door when we have like a seven foot tall behemoth guy that probably needs a bed. But I mean, hey, he just like did I mean, it, so that's fine. I mean, he, he 
just woke up from being, from having his shit pushed in. Yeah, that's that's why I didn't say anything. Yeah, it's fine. I, I'm gonna go uh, set my laptop in the other room away from the guy with the swords for hands. That all I'm actually, skulls. I'm actually gonna do a quick scouting uh, around the block just to see what's what's around us. Uh, yeah, sure, go right ahead. Uh, I would say immediately we'll... about face and follows Eon. Oh, it's fine. I, I'm going with Marjman. I'm fine. Don't. Worry. I'm not going to do anything stupid. I promise. Eon, look me in the eye and say that again. No, I'm serious. I'm. I'm going. I'm just doing like scouting. <sighs> no, see, this is the problem. He's not lying. He thinks he's telling the truth. Why does everyone think I'm irresponsible? I've actually been been very well behaved compared to. Why? <laughs> I don't know that that's the barometer you want to use to measure success. Is that the bar? <laughs> it certainly should not be. <laughs> okay. What are you looking for? I just want to... I'm not looking for anything specific. I just want to know what's just around the block. Just to get a, base, a bearing of what's close. Just in case we need to... Like, for example, food. If we need to know where a grocery store is or a general store. Yeah, that's a good point. I want, like, if there's a general store with a med kit, I want to kind of refuel my, um, uh, my emergency kit. Okay. Some gauze, some painkillers, stuff like that. Are you sure you don't need backup? I got my Argemon. This guy's like, hey, two for two for headbutts. Everything in my he body wants me to just go with you, just so you have someone to for backup. Don't worry, I keep my head down. Okay, I'll be back in like fifteen minutes. Okay, uh, let me try something. I go into my room. I try to communicate through the digivices. Like, am I able to like break a break? What this is the wizard. Trying to reach out to accident prone. Come in, accident prone. You go ahead and you try messing with the Digivice, and it's similar to how you would try messaging back Datamon before. It is not conducive to sending text messages, but by God, can you do it if you take enough time? And sure enough, you can send a message, and uh, ER, you do get a message on your Digivice from Grayson that boils down to that. It took maybe five minutes. <laughs> If you need help, text me 911. Gotcha. Is it person to person stuff, or is this just become a chat feed that appears on all of our Digivices? As far as I was told, Grayson just sent that to ER, so that's a one to one yes. right now. Until okay. it's become mm -hmm. a group chat, it's not a group chat. <laughs> All right. So when you guys tell me it's a group chat, then we'll get Grayson there. Grayson is going to be investigating this to see if he can find text speech <laughs> You can certainly try. So, uh, ER, you are making your... Are you just scanning around the floor that you're on, or are you going back down to ground level? Ground level uh, with Majman, I'm just going to do just once around the block just to kind of see what's in the area. Fair enough. Uh... So you decide to make your way back down to the elevator. You've got the you've got the key with you back to the room. Uh, for everybody else, you all decide to head into your respective rooms that you decided to join with. Gary going with Grayson, uh, Reiner going into his room that ER will eventually be joining. Riot's already in his own room. So ER, yeah. let's get your stuff done out of the way. I fully expect Dustman will have claimed my bed by the time I get back. Uh, mm -hmm. Dustman's gonna go in the corner. Okay. I would like you to go <laughs> ahead and roll me. Let's call it a grit check, DC of 10. Well, that's my D8 stat. As you go ahead and try to, like, kind of look around, see if there's anything, like, of note. Uh, Shibushi. Let me know if you're using any tokens. Uh, yeah, I'm going to burn six. Alrighty. So, you go ahead and start wandering around the block of the tower that's before you, which, looking up at the tower proper, you can tell that, oh, yeah, this is definitely where the D-terminal is, because the tower itself, the skyscraper, all of them are very, very large, but there's a tower in the center of 
what looks like three or four different skyscrapers that goes even further up into the sky to the point it crests past the clouds even this late at night. Oh. But also, looking around probably on his skateboard, even though he said he's just doing a walk. Yep, you're going ahead and you're just skating around for the most part. You see a couple of different Digimon as you wander on by. The first that you see wandering about is you see uh, that same Digimon that had kind of pointed you in the general direction that you had been before. This kind of being made out of Lego blocks carrying a wagon just across the street from you wandering in various different directions. From there, you see a Digimon as well that is kind of wandering about looking very dejected, like kind of staring at the ground, looking at its own paws as it is deep in thought, kind of figuring out what its next moves are going to be. And then lastly, you see a Digimon that looks like it is kind of talking to a bunch of other Digimon. Most of them are ignoring it as it goes about kind of preaching to the lot of them. A lot of words about like the word of God and how you will all be saved. But a lot oh. of Digimon are kind of ignoring it. What does this creature look like? Uh, it looks to be a creature that is relatively tall, taller than you most certainly at about seven foot tall, give or take. Whoa. With about three sets of wings on its back, carrying a staff. Well, that just seems too uh, too much for me. But this Digimon that looks dejected, you is going to kind of scare him over to him and be like, Hey, Bailey. Hey, buddy. What's up? You good? Sure enough, you go ahead and you make your way over to check out the Digimon that looks a little dejected. You can see that it is wearing a red scarf that has, like, some goggles on it. It's kind of attached to its back on the back of its neck as it kind of looks over towards you. I'm just a little concerned is all. Trying to find where my master wandered off to. Master? Yeah, he kind of gets lost every now and again and finds places to go and entertain himself as it were. And I don't really know where he's wandered off to this time. I'm sure I'll find him given enough time. But it's... It's tough being without him, you know? Yeah, oh, man. I know how you feel. It's it's uh, it's hard to be away from your friends. Uh, what's your name, buddy? Oh, I'm uh, Huckman. Pleasure mm -hmm. to meet you. Mm -hmm. Continue. Uh, As he kind of like nods your direction. <laughs> Is there is there a problem, Chase? I know what you're talking about. Is there a problem, Chase? No, but I know what you're talking about. Are you sure? Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> very sure. Oh, I don't. He's been very calm this whole time. He's been, he's been great doing. He's been doing fantastic up until I mentioned a word. It, it, it's so weird because I honestly like I recognize the description. I just don't know. I, I know oh, who it is. I know who his master is. I know what oh, you're talking about. No. I know all of what you're saying, and I can't act on any of it. <laughs> yeah, because you're not here. <laughs> the, fight, the funny thing I, is, I. Gary I do... wouldn't know shit. Yeah, <laughs> Gary wouldn't know any anything either. <laughs> but I know you, as a player, Chase, are like, <laughs> I want it. Nick, how dare you? <laughs> the funny thing uh... is, I, I just got to chapter 17 in Cyber Sleuth, so I don't know why this didn't click sooner. Uh,. But going back to ER brain, oh man, that's rough. Uh, my my name's ER, and this is Milo Jamon. Ah, oh, pleasure to meet you both. Maybe I'll see you guys around sometime. I'm sure yeah. I'll see my master around eventually. Yeah. Uh, we'll keep an eye out for him. Uh, what's he look like? Ah, oh, he's a pretty big guy. Very, very powerful. He's got the aura of a dragon. Okay, aura of a dragon. Uh. He's pretty recognizable. You'll see him the moment you lay eyes on him. All right, got You'll it, see got him it. the moment you lay eyes on him. This is a really good line. <laughs> <laughs> got it. I just got to keep my eyes up for some of the over dragon. Majman, got that? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> just eyes crossed. Eh. <laughs> All right, Marjaman and I will keep an eye out for someone with the with the orb of dragon. That shouldn't be too hard to find. 
appreciated. I'll see you guys around. Yeah, that's me, Yachtman. <laughs> Reiner looks at his dragon shirt. <laughs> Closes it. <laughs> I've got the orb of dragon. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Monotron, I'm, I'm a dragon. dragon. I should have the orb of dragon. <laughs> That, 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 point, was uh, first, honestly, that was Eos' first. that was Eos' first thought. Like, wait a minute. Oh my yeah, god. <laughs> At which point you see you Huckman, this guy's You see Huckman kind of begin to wander I his way down be. the streets. I can be. Uh, kind of leaving I... you guys be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Majuman, did you recognize that guy? I mean, yeah, possibly. Yeah, sometimes I, you know, just space out. Yeah, I, I could have been his master. You never know. Maybe you were once digivolved, but now you're Majuman, you lost all your memories, and that's why he's looking for you. Wow, that, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. God, the different aliases, that shit, shit. That's awesome. Yeah. You, maybe you're like a crime fighter or something. Yeah. Yeah, like, like the, the greatest martial art, artist to ever live, you know? you know? Oh, just like Game of Death! Well, that sounds cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm that. Yeah, it's that kung fu movie. Oh wow! Oh, you, kung fu. Yeah, Eo shows off his like a little bit of martial arts he knows, like a lot of punches. Shows off a couple of thrust punches, some crescent kicks. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Maybe I could do that next time. Oh man, we should totally spy. That could only we go well. <laughs> yeah, we can try. We try to see how good your headbutt is against mine. That's a great idea. That's amazing. I, I agree. <laughs> uh, are there any buildings that uh, stand out to us? I assume all the like all the signs are in that digi code that EO doesn't understand. Yeah, they're all in various different levels of like digi speak, so you're not able to read anything. Uh, for Monodramon, I mean, it's a lot of generic stuff for the most part. There's a lot of stuff about like different buildings for uh, like progress for like city development for architecture at least in the initial area that you guys are wandering around there's nothing that would be like a shop territory as Hot far as girls, you can tell 24 7 no <laughs> very much so industrial is where you're kind of ah going. yes very uh like brick and mortar very but yeah like industrial like you said yeah, you're you're in the center of the city, and it would make sense that you have a lot of like industrial development locations around what is supposedly the center of the city with the D terminal nearby. So it's less commerce and more uh, just services for industrial. Kind of stuff. Basically, yes, trying to like expand the territory. Got it. Okay. I'm and all I'm saying is Chelsea Pierce now. Yeah, and just to have curiosity, just he wants to skate by the big guy preaching just to hear a bit of the spiel just because he's like what is going on and then yeah, he's going to head up completely fair so you go ahead and you wander by the individual that is kind of spouting about a various different religious text and as you wander by you hear a lot you see a lot of digimon like not giving him the light of day as he goes about uh, pontificating the word of the digital god is true and just if you listen to it you too shall be saved and it kind of goes on for a little bit longer. There's a lot of various examples about various things about how the digital god has uh, reworked the world in order to make it better. And there's a lot of things about how the digital god protects those who are faithful. Uh huh. Ma, John, you know anything about this? No, I. I don't dabble into this kind of stuff. I just, you know, just train hard and be a good person. Yeah, that's kind of all you need. Yeah. All right. Uh, you want to head back up and uh, see how the others are doing? Yeah, sure. They're, they're probably wanting oh. to talk to us, you know, because how cool we are. Uh, ER gets off the skateboard. <laughs> Dude, uh, you want to give it a ride on the way back? Ride that? Yeah, I can teach you. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and have Monodramon roll me. Do I play, do I do I lay I down take... on it? No, no, you stand. Yeah, uh, that that seems dangerous. 
If Monodramon wants to try and ride this properly, roll me a flight check. I'm going to set the DC to like seven. <laughs> oh my goodness. You got this. You got this. You got this. Flight? Yeah, flight yeah. check. Oh boy. D8. Fun, fun, fun. You got this. Explode. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so. You are wobbly as you make your way down the road. <laughs> ER, you are watching Monodramon stay on this board as it like kicks off once, but they don't fall and they are able to make it all the way back to the main entrance doors to the lobby of the hotel that you guys are staying at before he like I'm doing it. Off. <laughs> I just love that mom. Yeah. I can fly. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm soaring through the streets. I'm going to see if we can get you your own. This is awesome. I have a skateboard buddy. That was so cool. Oh we my do God. It again. Oh, yeah. We should go to a. Uh, there's like a hill. Like we could go up. Can we do that? Oh, the speed was so cool. I know. I, we, we, we do these things where we fall into like ramps and we just go up and down. It's We got to find Guys, a skate ramps? Park. Yeah. No, next time we'll find a skate park, I'll show you how to do a drop in. Am I going to need to wear a helmet? Probably. Well, no, well, you, you got strong head for head buds, so. Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I think you're fine. Yeah. So while ER has been out in the city, what's everybody else been up to? Uh, Grayson wants to try to find some sort of library on the internet or some sort of mainframe that has... Basically, he's trying to create an archive of the Digimon that they have met, and possible Digimon they might encounter. He wants to sort of build up a library to know what they may be up against coming forward. Completely fair. Uh, you go ahead and you plug your visor back into your laptop, and it actually, honestly enough, uploads a lot of the data that you have conjectured so far on the various Digimon that you've scanned properly, and plops it into a little data bank. Doing a proper check, though, on things. Go ahead and roll me a brains check. We're going to set the DC to 15. DC 15. Uh, plus one to my brains check. Uh, Trying to... Unless you're putting in tokens. Uh, yeah, it's, it's worth it. Yeah, I'm putting in four. All right, fair enough. You are able to put together a data bank on the various different Digimon that you've already seen so far, even the ones that you haven't had any direct combat interactions with through the visor. Right. So you would know that at the very least, uh, all the Digimon that you've encountered so far, as well as Salomon, who you've just seen down in the lobby, who you would know is a rookie vaccine type, whose highest stat is charm. All right, and if possible, I'm going to see if I can create some sort of uh, network that can distribute that information amongst all of the uh, digital devices. That way, everyone has access to this share drive. Uh, for that, uh, it's going to be a higher DC. I'm going to set that to 18. Okay, I will... Still a brain check. Try again. You dare doubt the wizard? Uh, well, I do doubt the wizard. <laughs> the, the wizard didn't roll so hot on that one. So, That's 11 uh, times lower than that one roll you got. Yeah. So, uh... I'm not too proficient with, uh... The... Uh, you know what, guys? I tried a, uh... Boss typography. Uh, I didn't, I didn't pass my networking comp to you yet. So, you try typing into the computer to try and like send it off like you plug your digivice into it being like well this should probably work and everyone including er who's making their way back into the tower you get a message in your digivice from grayson and you look at it and it's a what looks like an egg with a face doing the equivalent of gangnam style dancing yeah we did it walk did, did you get the he file did you get just like slowly turns away from the digivice to look at you. It's like, I did I get the file? Yeah, did you mean to send me this? Yeah, it should be like a 
a catalog of everything that we can count so far. That is not the uh, file. That I How did you get it to Gangnam Style Dance with no limbs? I, I, I don't know. I don't know how I can discern that that's what it's doing with no limbs, but I know that's what it's doing. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, it's a, a AFK. I was going to ask Terry on something, but he's away. No wonder they call you the wizard. Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm not good. Is Gary Reiner or Riot up to anything? at the moment. Riot, uh, if we want to... Uh, he's in the room with... Just note you don't have access to the data reorganizer that is in the van. Yeah. He's in the room basically looking out the window. He's been quiet for a minute, but then he's gonna say to Flamon, I need a way for us to be stronger. I don't just mean me, I mean... All of us humans don't have what you have. You guys can take a hit, like, pretty well. You know what I'm saying? Well, do you, Flame Bond? Do you? So I, I was think... replying to a message. Yeah, yeah, uh, I mean, that's kind of why we're here, so we can take the hits for you guys. Although, I guess I didn't really do that good of a job finding a wall. Well, I mean, it's not just your fault, though, and sometimes there's going to be things that are just not going, it's not going to be avoidable. Sometimes we're going to have to get involved, and sometimes we're going to end up in the fray whether we want to or not. I need... It's on the tip of my tongue. I I know this is gonna sound crazy, but like I saw something in my freaking dream that it felt like I could make it. Like imagine Imagine if something could give us just a little bit of durability, like um I know exactly what you're talking about. The hubcap shield Grayson gave Terrier on. No, that didn't. That that force field wall managed to tip. That that makes more sense. Grayson's shield he gave to Terrymon didn't really walk. I don't know if he's actually that smart. The force field wall itself. Right, right. The force field. Uh, what if? What if? That kind of power, a force field, could be on us somehow. What if there was a way to? Ah, where would I get what I need? I need access to tools right now. I need a workbench, or I need, like, a junkyard. I need something. There might be some junk left over from after dust mine went on. <laughs> Nothing personal, kid. To the wall. Maybe if I got a piece of it. But even then, I'd still need some other supplies. Um, if I... I mean, we're a city. That's, that's where supplies live, right? If, Nick, if Riot were to look out the window and see what's down below around the building, what would he see? Do you need me a roll to see how much I can see? There'd be, there would not be a roll based on where you're at. You're not terribly high up in the tower, so trying to look around, it's you're getting about street-level view of a lot of things. You're seeing well, a few I'll Digimon that are wandering cool. about... A few, a few that look robotic in nature that are kind of wandering from point A to point B. You can see a few that are uh, talking with one another, almost like kind of friendly conversation. You don't really see any shops around the area for the most part. Anything that looks like it might be a business is at this late at night closed. We can ask Salomon. He said that like he's like the concierge. He can uh, point us in the direction of stuff. That might be a good idea. Getting an idea of what's around us, even if there's like a scrapyard or something that gives me material, I, I might be Yo. able to build something. All right, I have a really good idea. What you and I should do tomorrow, we should gather the guys for, for a meeting. Okay. Well, you want to tell Just, me your idea? 
no, no, no. That's the idea. We all like gather, like figure out a plan. It's not a bad thing. It's just I kind of want to be able to present them with. Last time I came at them with an idea of something, I was met with, well, you know, it, 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 this isn't really certainly going to work or whatever, and the kind of, it's a video game logic, but, like, you're not really there, you're not fully forming it. And I know, I'm a bit scatterbrained with this stuff, but it worked out last time, we oh. found what we were looking for. I think what will work best is if I, I can present them with, like, a prototype. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, I see what you're going for, man. I see what you're going for. Let's do this. We're going to knock the socks off. I think you're on to something with going downstairs to talk to Salomon. And if he can point us to something, I might want to see if I can get Gary on board. He's the only one that can drive. We definitely have to revisit the edge where that firewall is. That's going to be a talk he'll probably not want to do. Right. But we might need an egg one for that. Like, I don't know if we want to split the group up that far, but we'll see. And just be a quick drive out. Yeah. I'm sure it's fine. We're fine. We're awesome. If anything happens, I got flame hands. <laughs> and I, at least still, he flips it around his hand, have my hammer. Flamon is like doing little punches and kicks. <laughs> Alright, uh let's let's head downstairs then. Let's talk to Salomon. And right. then if we wanna for that gap, if somebody else wants to do something while he's heading downstairs. Fair uh, enough. I don't know if anyone else wants to do stuff, but I did want to ask Terramon something now that went back. I don't know. Go right, if, go right if ahead. Wants to, I know I just went, so if anyone wants to go first, that's totally fine. Yeah, unless, uh, you know, uh, Gary has anything. Uh, not in particular, I think. It's mostly chilling. Fair oh, enough. Okay. In so, that case, uh... Grayson, if you want to have a talk with yeah. uh, Terry Mon, go right ahead. Grayson just wants to, like, turn over to Terry Mon and actually Maggie Mon. Hey, uh, I have a question about you, for you two, about Digivolution. What do you need? Uh, when you guys Digivolve, uh, is this, like, you guys grow up? Is it like you guys mature and like change like how people do? Well, some would call it an adult form, if you will. But uh, honestly, we don't really know. We haven't gone through that ourselves yet. Duskman would be the only one who would actually kind of know that information. I, I mean, I would ask him, but he scares me. That's fair. Agumon, what about you? Do you know anything about that? I mean, from what I've heard from other Digimon, it's, it kind of varies from person to person. Sometimes you'll end up like with a mixed, mixed bag of new personality traits and all this stuff to deal with. Sometimes you'll end up with more of the same. Sometimes you end up with a uh, fair knowledge of... It, it seems like every Digimon at least recalls who they were. I was bluffing, I also knew that. Okay, but does, like... I guess what I'm asking, does the gremlin energy go away? What gremlin energy? Are you talking about for someone specific? Stares at Terrier Mon? No. Oh, okay. Why is everyone well, looking at me? I guess I misread the room. <laughs> Why is everyone looking at me? Okay, okay. I have an idea that I want to try. It's no crazy. You're gonna hack him into digivolving right now. <laughs> Are you gonna hack no. him into being powerful? No. no. After after breakfast tomorrow, I'm going to go to the uh, to the dairy organizer. And I want to try making use a little bit of like a, I guess a sort of armor to keep you. Safe. Mm -hmm. Grayson, I think we on something with the, with the shield. Grayson, I, uh... I don't know if you recognize this, but I'm fast. I gotta keep moving. I eat... If that... If I'm wearing something, that's just gonna slow me down, man. But I, I think this will be hilarious. I wanna see where it goes. You're gonna basically I, have his little helicopter ears spinning, and then this 
ball of metal flying at people. You see, he's your, your buddy's supportive of this. I'm supportive of anything that's entertaining, really. <laughs> Terrymon's just doing the Excalibur face right now. All I'm imagining is Terrymon is like that kid from the Christmas Story with all the different layers of winter. Oh, that's clothing. what he's afraid of right now. It's like, but, but I'm fierce. <laughs> but what if you didn't get hurt when you got hit? I mean, that's gonna happen. That. That's just that's always gonna happen when we fight. Tell one of everyone you got the head your head cracked like three times. I think Emon got it worse. Okay, touche. Why? We'll, we'll talk about this. Here here here's a theory just from experience. I didn't really get that banged up, and it's not a humble brag, it's Oh, it's more of a brag brag, but anyway, um, <laughs> my attacks were from a distance. What if... Yeah, so are mine. Were, were they? Yes, I, I shoot fire from my mouth and launch t tornadoes from my body. I rotate. You shoot... Why is it with everybody in fire? Everybody else here but me. And I'm I fire I hate this. Okay, Magimon, hear me out. What if we do, like, a flamethrower from your, your hat, or, like, an oil stick? Or you pull a rapid out of your hat, and it's on fire. And then you let's, throw the rabbit. Let's not go around hurting rabbits for no reason, thank you. <laughs> okay, you, you pull a rubber chicken, and it's on fire. That, that sounds like, like it would smell awful. Let's keep <laughs> workshopping it. Grayson gets this, like, insane look, like, a mad scientist, like, okay, you guys, heal me out. And he just spends the next 15 minutes trying to come up with combo moves. Completely for, like, fair. Oil slick and blazing fire. Uh, how are, how are Reiner and Duskmon doing right now? So, good. you know, you know how when you're in a dark room and you yeah. see, like, a shape in the corner that you know is just, like, a coat hanger or, like, a, like, a hat rack or something, but you feel like it's a person? That's the energy Duskmon is getting, giving off standing in the corner Completely where fair. Reiner has told him to stand. I'm just I'm just laying down looking at my Digivice trying to click stuff and see what happens because now I'm interested in it. Comple Completely fair. You you do find like, I mean, sorting through it, you can find like the inventory area where you've got some of your leftover bits uh, deposited uh, as well as any other in, uh, items that might have been distributed amongst your friends. Uh, you can find that there's an area specifically for checking on your Digimon, which does tell you like their their baseline stats on things, tells you how well they how healthy they are at the moment, their current level, which is champion, their type, which is free. There's okay, also that, that, that's yeah. cool and all, but is there games? <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do my phone got games? Yeah, that's uh, hand play snake. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> there are no games on your Digivice. Okay. I'm sorry, People, continue on. I just, I no, just wanted no, to throw the in before you No, completely, completely fair. Completely fair. Uh, you're kind of just messing around with the Digivice, and sure enough, you do find an area that uh, does ask you if you would like to revert form. Oh. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. I point at Duskmon. <laughs> I got you. What do you mean? Oh, mm, I got this open about... hand here. <laughs> What's so funny? Mm, I don't know. Maybe that uh, I just found out how to turn you back. No, you didn't. You know, -uh. It says turn you back right here. No, it doesn't. It doesn't say that. And Dustman yeah, like, mm. comes over to try to read the Digivites. <laughs> no, it says revert form. See, that's complete. Don't no. press <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're gonna be a good boy, right? Yeah. I want to hear it. I want to hear it from what I'm assuming is a mouth that you're talking out of. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. What? Don't make me say it. No. Ooh, ooh, I'll be like good. Over. I'll be good. I'll be good. I'll be good. A good I'll be what? Good. A good. I, I don't know. You ever told me what to be good, a good at? Good Digimon, right? Good, good Digimon. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I got it here. Oh. Mm. 
All right. No. Three, no. Two. I'll be a good Digimon. 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 All right. I'm so glad. Okay. <laughs> you back out on the uh, the prom to your device. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, don't don't cry, okay? It's it's okay. I, it takes I, I, so I long to wipe my twenty six eyes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, look, I I didn't mean to go that far. I, it's fine. <laughs> deep deep it's down, fine. you're still a little little crazy little impmon. I, I get it. We all have that little impmon inside of all of us, I guess. Do we? But but I are the first one. <laughs> You got you got the more uh, savvy one, I would say. Savvy. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> that one on brains check. <laughs> <laughs> Dust savvy one does sounds not know great. that word. <laughs> sounds like that, a very good word. <laughs> that is a direct confirmation for Dust One. He has the best Impmon inside of him. <laughs> I, I'm the best Impmon there ever was. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's got a version of Impmon in them, but I have the best Impmon. That means I'm the best. <laughs> uh, fucking beautiful. Absolutely this. beautiful. <laughs> it's at this point that ER stumbles his way into the room for, uh, for <laughs> with you, Reiner, and you, Duskmon. Hey, what's up? Oh, shit, you're still terrifying. Okay. Uh, it's fine. He he's gonna be a he's going to be a good Digimon, right? Okay. Right. Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm kind of looking at the dragon shirt that Rhino is wearing as going, Hey, Rhino, would you would you say that you emit dragon aura? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Turn, turn away on my side of the bed away from him. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get him next time, Hajimon. <laughs> is Hajimon there? What the fuck? Yeah, always with them. Yeah, always with them. He he thought you said Anjuman. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, 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 not Anjuman. Is this where oh, I get to sleep? Oh, oh. Is this I like where I get to sleep? The good Lord has graced me with a bed. Guys, I'd like to introduce you to my new religion, Anjuman. Whatever he's peddling. <laughs> whatever he's peddling, I agree with it. <laughs> I know. I, I saw a biblically accurate street peddler. <laughs> okay, we are asking Monojumon what again? <laughs> no, I was telling Monojumon like we'll get him next time. Yeah, what does that mean? We'll we'll get him. Yeah. All right, let's get some rest, buddy. Am I uh, also going to get them? <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna say yes because your eyes are red, and that's terrifying, but also really freaking cool. You look really cool. Das Mon's like <laughs> nodding. It's like yes, yes, yes. I agree with your statements. Because yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Eo is just like floored by all this. I, uh, so I guess <laughs> Eo is just going to share the bed with Majiman. Like, all right, but let's go. Let's get some sleep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Where do I sleep? <laughs> Where do I sleep? Duskmon's like <laughs> Duskmon's like looming over Reiner's bed. <laughs> he's he's watching up. for you in the night. <laughs> Dude, he's like. I shall be a good Digimon. Yeah, you can be a good Digimon by watching over there. Don't don't breathe on me, please. A test of my perception, of course. Okay, you're doing that thing again. <laughs> just like you. slow, like without moving his legs, as though he's wearing Heelys, just slides <laughs> over to the corner slowly. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the lot of you decide now's the time to get some good rest in and relax after a very incredibly eventful day of dealing with both the first D terminal as well as the firewall and trying to get a little bit of rest in the morning approaches the day the sunlight begins to shine through your windows uh, most of you all of your blinds kind of closed and it's there, there's no wake up call so you all wake up at relatively decent enough times before he all wakes at like yeah. precisely 8 a.m. and starts doing morning yoga because he's not me in the nude. <laughs> <laughs> Renner wakes up. What do you do? <laughs> Why are you only in your boxes? 
It's very confusing. Oh. <laughs> I Just forgot to like, take those off. staring too. for 30 minutes. <laughs> when Gary wakes That's up, he finds he's, uh, Grayson on his computer. Oh, did hey. Uh, but you... Wait. Did, wait, did you... Wait, did you not sleep? I fell asleep at my desk. There is a desk in the room, so... <laughs> No, oh, there isn't, or is? No, there is. Okay, that's why I make sure. Grayson is actually sleeping on that. Tier one had the bed. Come on, okay. Paramon <laughs> flies over and lands on your head and screams at you. <laughs> Next time you get the bed, I. Yeah, you need uh, rest. Proper uh, rest. I, I, I was trying things. Yeah, yeah, but. You can't, you can't walk to your best if you're freaking tired. Good morning. No matter how much your boss tells you. <laughs> I, I feel what? as though Shay's being thrown on me. Nope. <laughs> no, it's, be, it's being thrown on some other individuals that have not reached yet pain yet. <laughs> but yes, I did put that there specifically to target you, Red. Yeah. Get more than four hours of sleep, please. Make me, motherfucker. <laughs> Make me. Uh, a lot of you decide to make your way back downstairs uh, after kind of <laughs> gathering around. And you can see that Salomon is there over at the front desk, kind of watching as a lot of you make your way down the elevator. Good morning. Please make your way over to the dining hall. There's breakfast. It's complimentary. Oh, thanks. And going slightly down the hall a little bit, you can see there's a few other Digimon that are wandering about, but there are a lot of different foods available. There's meat on the bone that is just shoved into little troughs that would be equivalent to like a all-you-can-eat buffet there's uh eggs that are just all hard uh scrambled eggs that are kind of sitting in one of the troughs as well plates of bacon sausage uh various question. different greeneries that people have access to question about this meat on bone yes was it grown from the ground you can ask salomon salomon is this freshly grown meat on bone Oh, absolutely. We have our own uh, we have our own garden around here, but recently we found out that we have access to imports from the digital forest. Yeah, that was us. Oh. Well, thank you kindly for helping out with the expedition of things over to Data City. I'm sure the boss will be very appreciative. Yeah, who is the boss again? You guys have just been calling him the boss. Well, to be fair, he doesn't really like us using his proper name on things unless we're directly in a meeting with him. Oh. Would Mysterious. you like me to set up a meeting with him? I kind of look at the guys. Like, you know, Gary's, Gary's, like, 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 Gary's like shaking his head no. <laughs> Grayson no. is going no, to pros and cons. <laughs> I will get <laughs> back to you about that. We may have a potential <laughs> business <laughs> thing. No. I'll, ta I'll take a look-see. His schedule is very busy. I think his earliest availability is four months from now. That's oh God. wonderful. <laughs> He's a very busy person. What if I stop talking right now and I just get a plate of meat and just walk away? <laughs> Enjoy your meal, sir. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna ask a uh... Play Mon to grab me some food right quick while I talk to Salomon as I didn't get to last night. I'm assuming he was just off somewhere. Yeah, no, that's fair. Salomon healed you and then gave you your room keys and then you wandered upstairs. So you didn't really have much time other than uh, oh, yeah. the initial, you, like, oh, hey, he put his paw on me. Oh, yeah. Well, and, uh, and Flaymon was supposed to like, go down. Uh, sorry. We were meant to do, do that last night. Uh, it's all good. Uh, totally fair. So. Okay, so flame on. Grab yeah. me, grab me a plate of some stuff right quick. I'm, I'm gonna see now that I can see him if he can. Flame on tries to make a tower of pancakes. Wait, what? Yeah, flame on walks on like getting like a tower of pancakes. If no pancakes are available, tower of meat on bone. Awesome. In either case. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, Salomon. Good morning, sir. How might I be of assistance? So you definitely know the area better than I do. Um, but there happened to be anywhere around uh, 
this building or in the city in general, would there be like a, a scrapyard or like a mechanical, uh, a mechanics uh, workshop, something? Hmm, I'm not too sure on that one. I don't know of many shops that are at least in the immediate area, but I'm sure there's definitely one in Data City proper. If not, there's definitely someone who's looking to make something like that. All sorts of industry around here. Hmm. Okay. Let me... Hey! Hey, Grayson! Yeah? Can you check on your laptop right quick and see if the map's showing, like, a solid view of the city? Like, down to what's around us? Uh, yeah, sure. Let me take a look. Sure enough, you go ahead and you pull up the map. And as far as you can see, it's kind of just like a worldwide map. It doesn't really show you a lot of things that are specific in Data City proper. And trying to zoom in doesn't really give you much else. It tells you the rough area of where things are in the form of like where the large towers are. You assume are where roughly the D terminals might be located. That's about it. Can I try to like zoom in on the map or like, hey, Google, find this. Like I said, trying to zoom in, I mean, you get a more blown up picture of the current map area, but it doesn't show you anything of like specific city streets. It doesn't show you anything along the lines of uh, specific locations or areas or shops or anything like that. It's very much so like the map that you're being shown is kind of just like a, a bird's eye view of the whole entirety of the server. Yeah, right. all I'm getting on the, the uh, DNS uh, interface Static is, uh, yeah, getting an error message. Yeah, man, I I'm not getting anything. Just trying to <laughs> Grayson is trying to sound smarter. Because he knows people look at him as a smart guy, and he just wants to maintain that fake persona. Let uh, me have this one thing. <laughs> Alright, then. I got... Uh, I really don't want to do this. Hey... Gary, could I hey, talk, yeah? talk to you in private? That Why do you make it sound like that? Make it sound like a whole thing. Make it sound ominous or threatening or it's not, something. It's not, it's not ominous, it's not threatening, it's nothing that way. I just, I need to ask a favor. Uh-huh. And it has to be in private. Yeah. Well, that's incredibly strange, but all right, I guess we're doing it. Okay, so me and him go off to the side for a uh, minute. Magi Magimon, how about you also get me a plate of exclusively food? Get get me a plate of food. I don't want you to get a plate of whatever. I will. Uh, you. They seem to have waffles. Are you good with waffles? If there's any left after Flame Mun's done making like a hundred, then yeah. Okay, I like those because I can cut them into pieces and put them around the strings. Fair enough. That uh, yeah, sure, that works. All right, yeah, you you do that, and then I'm gonna go hear about this weird favor, and then I'll be back hopefully. Don't die. I'm gonna try not to. Head off with right. So you make your way over to like the lobby proper to uh, have a little bit of a discussion away from everybody else. Okay. Yeah, what's up, man? I know that generally you're not keen on just trusting my ideas because they seem a little bit scatterbrained. I, I, I know. But I'm asking you to hear me out here. Uh-huh. So you know the last time I had a dream of something and it kind of worked out well because we ended up getting the data rearranger? Not saying that wasn't just a coincidence. Vaguely, sure. But 
win, I was out. After I got freaking knocked out. I had a dream of... We've been dealing with a lot of freaking threats. And I, I, I know you can agree with me on that. Yes, I can. <laughs> Things that are well beyond us as people being able to stand the damage that those things would bring. You're, you're pretty solid on wanting to stay back from trouble, but even wanting to stay back from it, there's a chance that at some point, and I'm not trying to scare you, something could harm you. I want to find a way to stop that for us. And I have an idea, but I need your help. Uh-huh. I think if we can go back out to the edge where the firewall was, if I can find a scrap of that firewall's remnants or remains or something of its tech, I want to see if I could, with the data rearranger, make a prototype of a device that would give us a force field for ourselves. Maybe it could, like, take a hit for us. Hmm. Okay. You're in? Okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, we didn't... There wasn't anything crazy around the firewall thing when we were there last time. Uh, we, we took it down. It seemed like it wasn't going to keep blasting us. Uh, this seems like it's for something that's actually beneficial, potentially. And, you know, it, it the, the, you might not be able to make it, but the logic seems sound enough of, you know, make a thing that keeps us safe. I'm, I'm for that. Okay, then I need you to go on a little trip with me. We need to head back out to the edge and see if we can find any remnant there. Between that, the data rearranger, and I'm guessing, and he just pulls off his belt right there and holds it up, this, maybe, we can make something out of it. Something wearable. Just so you know, you don't have to take your belt off to demonstrate points. I mean, fair, but, you know. You could point at it, but I, I, may, I don't... I, I don't... I just feel like it's weird to take your belt off to emphasize points. My pants are still up, man. Currently. <laughs> Currently. Let him be cool. No. no. <laughs> no. -uh. Do we do we want to grab everybody to do it, or do you think just you and me is all we need? I mean, it? on the off chance that something dangerous has come to check out the area, it probably wouldn't be bad. Uh, so let's eat up, go check that out, and then let's find some odd jobs because I don't know how much longer we can stay in this hotel. I mean. How much were the rooms? I've still got like 320. Why does you check my your digi device say I have 20 bits? <laughs> Grimon is frantically eating pancakes. <laughs> Squatter rights. It makes sense. <laughs> that that it all makes sense. Yep, that that tracks. All right, let's go back and eat. So yeah. the lot of you begin to make your way back to the dining hall and having your fresh fill of pretty substantial food in comparison to the the, uh, the the odd ends and bits that were put together from the Vegemon village from Reiner trying his best with what little ingredients he had. It is here that we're going to take our first break of the evening. Woo! Yeah! I, I want to, when I come back, ask Duskmon why, uh, how he can eat when his mouth is covered. So. A very <laughs> good question. Know. That's going to be my first answer when we get back. I want to ask. <laughs> how, how do you eat very carefully? I want to yeah. ask Mon, when we get back, yep. how do you type with boxing gloves on your hands? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> the sword is right... insert. I'm sorry, go on. No, I was saying I'll be right back. I'm going to go and uh, take a bio break like everybody else. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. I got to apply to a character, to a player that I cursed last session. She's asking me questions about dealing with that. Ah, uh, yes. 
Which I'm super chill with. Like, I'm I, glad that she's actually asking me questions about this album game and like trying to get this resolved. Cause... Also, I don't know if you're still here, but I see you, Cobra. I saw what you did. <laughs> oh, so I, was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna stay quiet about it until everyone was back. Nope, I saw what he did. What did do? I, we'll I find out later, Cobra, I guess. And I saw numbers appear on the screen, and Cobra Whiskey Yum was also on screen. I was like, hmm. That, that glorious man. I love him, but also you why? Even, you don't even know yet. It's not no, just I know. Cobra. Oh, I, I, I saw. I saw, my friend. Well, we'll be addressing those uh, in a little bit towards the end of this. I will, uh, after after I say this stuff, I'm going to go ahead and bio break as well. But uh, at the top of every one of these, I like to let everyone know. Hi, if you are so inclined to and you choose to, uh, donate into the streams, uh, you can do so either A, down below in the description, or right here if you type exclamation point donate, it also brings up the uh, link right there too. Uh, what your donations do, uh, one of two things in game, uh, actually not one of two, both things in game, uh, one, they add $5 per each, uh, five dollars per uh adversity token sorry my brain died for a second uh and you can write into your donation message who you want to give those to also make sure you write in the donation message uh your your name because sometimes uh it doesn't show up at the top uh it's just a safety precaution if you want to make sure that we can credit to you for doing things and whatnot um, and you can also donate directly to Vanmon because the more you put into adversity tokens into Vanmon, the more you make Nick freaking frantic because he may have to do interesting things with Vanmon. The more power you give to Pyro's whose vocals. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and secondly, uh, any donations that you do during the stream, specifically during the streams, the the gauge does not get affected off stream. Um, but the, the donations still do for adversity tokens and whatnot. Anyway, uh, it adds to the fuel gauge, which you crazy people have gotten to the third tier of the fuel gauge. And it, it was, was purely theoretical. <laughs> what? Level three and beyond were purely theoretical. They were. They I have were. returned. How's everyone doing? And then beyond yeah. that, just, uh, oh, I was just gonna say... Uh, outside of this, you guys are actually helping in general, because, uh, 50 per- <laughs> No, wait. It's- How's it go? Well, I think it's a third yeah, goes to the Smuck Squad as a whole, a third yep. goes to the DM, am I correct on that? Yep. Yep. And then, a third of it goes to the player base. Nick, I just wanna ask, if we hit level 5, does that unlock the golden digi egg? <laughs> <laughs> That's where it's hidden. Back, I could go into Jake. The fuel so... gauge gets to tier three, and that's how you get the golden digi egg. No, I said tier five. Tell, tell you what, tier five. T sorry, tell you what, tell you what, Storm. I will, I, that, I will that give was you right asking. Oh, sorry, I was not actually check, taking a check on things. I mean, do you feel so? It, me asking, asking about the golden digi egg is a very me thing, it is a very you thing. Mm -hmm. So, that said, for the both of you, here's what I will All say, right. <laughs> and you yeah. can take this as canon. Oh, god. It's in the city. <gasps> Did you say it's in the city? We built this city. It's in the city. We built this in city. The city. Is it... DJ. He said yeah. he's in the city, but this city or the other cities? We built this city on rock and roll. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, wait, tell no. your mom is going to do some investigation. <laughs> rock and roll. Just, just know when the moment happens. I want you to see them. <laughs> oh God. I want you to think about it for two moments. Two beats as you go, oh, it's there. And then immediately that second moment to go, Nick, you would dare do this. <laughs> and the see moment that, you have that, that second thought, I will cackle <laughs> like a Wait. witch. <laughs> Kick. Is it in a claw machine? Oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit a bio break right quick, and then when I get back, I'll read off the uh, 
donations that came in. Completely fair. <laughs> I just had a thought and I'm concerned now. <laughs> it's I'm, I'm waiting I'm waiting for you can have the golden digi egg you just have to kill literally every Digimon in the entire city simultaneously in order to get it it's it's fucking full metal alchemist style <laughs> the golden digi egg it's not made of golden digi egg it's made of soul <laughs> it's made of soul human soul yeah, soiling yes. full metal alchemist is people we have to <laughs> we have to transmute everybody Oh my god. Oh, I'll, I'll also bio break for a second. I'll be right back. Completely fair. That's it. I get to take a look at chat for two seconds. You yeah. know, I, I have not seen chat in a hot minute. Hi, chat. How are we doing? How's everybody going tonight? It's been a good old time, believe you me. He eats with his sword blade mouth. So, I, so <laughs> he puts that skewer up so he can put the song up in his hand and just gobble it like a piranha. <laughs> <laughs> no, whoever finds the DJ does not become the main protagonist because it's a, a collaborative storytelling. There is no protagonist. Yeah, no one's the MC. Just because well, Reiner got the first Digivolution does not make him the MC. <laughs> no. It makes Impmon the MC. Yeah. <laughs> in, in, his, in, in his head, yes. In that reality, no. He is the best Hitmon out of all the Hitmons. Because we I mean, have an Hitmon inside of all of us. He is the best Hitmon. This is true. <laughs> Which, you know, I think... I think it's between him and Van, so... You know. If Vanmon's a pretty good Hitmon. Vanmon is a pretty good Hitmon. <laughs> Vanmon's pretty close to be the main protagonist, so... The only reason <laughs> I have the goggles is just because I like those... The goggles from Hacker's Memory and just really wanted them on my character. I thought they were really neat. The best part about those goggles is that they are busted. They are oh, not yeah, fixed. <laughs> yeah, if you actually take a look, there's a crack uh, right by the uh, hand of the of the character arts. Like, he just had like a nasty spill once and just like ate shit and just can't afford to get them fixed. I'd get new ones, but that requires money. <laughs> oh yeah. Also, these are really cool and I haven't been able to find another pair like these. Like, yeah, the company doesn't make them anymore. <laughs> They're discontinued. They are a premium item. And the fact you crack them once, you're just like, I I can't ever fall ever again. Because these are gone if I do. How dare you. So, you know, I'd say Grayson's second in <coughs> line with Gary in the form of the less damage I take, the better. <laughs> hey, I got a question for y'all. I might have an answer. Are y'all ready to scream? Oh no! I oh, oh oh no! All right, cool. Let me let me pull out my phone so I can start keeping track of both my tokens and the van's tokens. Hit me, Pyro! Ruin oh, my soul! So um, wait, is, is Chase back? Does he want to scream too? Yeah, let's wait. Let's let's, wait, let's make sure Chase is back because I, I don't know. I, he's back know he, yet. I, I was away when he when he left he, he also went to go do a bio break like everybody else, you know, well, because uh, it's important to do that for these things. I can't wait for my neighbors to really hate me tonight. <laughs> That, that sounds like a them problem and not a you problem. <laughs> yeah, they'll be, they'll be fine. Uh, they'll they'll live. They'll live. It's fine. They, they were blasting bass last night till one and thirty in the, mo in the morning. We'll be fine. They deserve it then. <laughs> Precisely. Good lord. But I hope everybody's been enjoying stream so far. I would say this is our. <laughs> I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it because I'm going <laughs> to jinx myself. <clears throat> Hey guys, this has been the one stream that we haven't had any combat yet, and I'm happy okay with that. Nick, that's not need, fully up to you. I it's not up to me. It point. really isn't. I need to use them. You can use okay, them in other I'm, ways. You just ask oh. me when you want to do things that are not generic and like I, easy things I you wanna can do. I want to go find Hakuman's master, and I want to kick him in the groin. Should let me use the mercy <laughs> points to find a game on my Digivice. <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's what I'll say. When you get to the next D terminal and activate it, I'll allow games on your phone. <laughs> Woo! Oh my God. You better write that down because I'll forget. <laughs> and then I want I want some crazy person to make a very like small like pixel game real for us. <laughs> All I'm imagining is like, the same games that are on like the 
the D powers from and then yep. when creators we in chat breaks, make 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 a minor snake game or send it to us so that way we can just be like yeah we'll just play that during stream. <laughs> Just make the snakehead uh fucking uh one of the hands of uh Duskmon. So like it shows it shows us how he eats with his sword hand. <laughs> <laughs> he he's a big fan of kebabs. A stack kebabs. Of, a stack of pancakes and he just freaking shoots it out, stabs through the middle of the pancakes, retracts it back and then launches it into his mouth. <laughs> These are delicious. I love pancakes. <laughs> I want that as a sound bite. Just exactly Ryder, could you the pass way the you soda. said it. Delicious. I love so pancakes. Soft. <laughs> so soft and stabbable. <laughs> <laughs> They're fluffy. I enjoy them. Dude, I need to go I want to that fucking as a ringtone on my phone for someone. <laughs> I need to eat I a souffle. Pancakes. Sorry, what's I up? Need, uh, what's I need to friend? eat a souffle pancake. I've not had one yet. I need I, one in my life. If I if I had the technique to make it, I would make it for you. Yeah, I, I don't. I I cook, but I don't. I don't do like pastry kind of stuff. I don't know why. I just choose what we do. We get together for a convention. Which we need to do uh, at any point anyway. And, and we do that. And we call Rec because Requiem will fucking go, I'm sorry, you want souffle pancakes? Let's go. I'll make it no, happen. We, Dude, you know we what don't the need to call him. He'll just be there. <laughs> you know what the worst True. part's going to be if we all get together for, for a convention sometime, right? Mm. What? Is every single one of you is going to turn to me and go, so Nick, uh, li go to Jake, when? Uh, we're we're going we're gonna to do a stream of this live at a convention, right? <laughs> and then I'll just start <laughs> crying. I can do that. You know, it was wasn't it? until you said this that I realized the possibility that now, if there was a quote-unquote Smuck Squad, a Bridge Alliance, of whatever, like, if we, if we were just doing a panel that was focused to the Digimon, a Bridge, slash Digimon d d that is a possibility now. People I, have I, done can that. The I, I can get the cameras to work for that, but it would be kind of complicated. You gotta, and you, and you gotta, we gotta be precise because you know you only you only get a certain amount of hours, and that's even if you land that. I yeah. retire. Welcome back. Tur yeah, we we definitely have to be like pretty on point with it. Tur it Tur would be a very very short adventure on things. Not not a whole lot going on. The only way you can see is if you're a guest and they're like, "What panels do you want?" And it's like, "All right, part one and part two of a D and D because that would like be like cake for us." And then yeah, we just set them on two different days. Yeah, that's what they do for guests. They give you like five, like six panels. So, depending on how many hours they want you for. So, perfect. We could buy, we could pull that. An out. Anime, new anime could fest, like two new episodes of Digimon True. episodes, and then two <laughs> panels. Boom, uh, done. Anime. Easy. D and D live show. Here we go. Yeah, we, ah. we were just kind of joking about that. <laughs> it, it, here's go in contact I, your local convention centers and tell them to invite the schmuck squad with a bridge alliance yeah if they invite us then it's their fault <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> also, we can get away with anything you said that. <laughs> uh i will i will say i can technically film that and yeah for uh like putting onto the onto the channel probably want a convention where it's closer to other people because like the other thing is, is like how many flights <laughs> like, here, like who's taking the free flights who's flying there like that that's it, gets, it gets messy so I, i'm more than willing to to do the trek out on things if only because like i look, look let's be fair i've i've been back to the uh west coast in a hot minute so it'd be nice yeah, to go yeah. back to the west coast <laughs> For sure. Yeah, if, if it's a good excuse, yeah, but you know, not everyone's always like. I think there was one month I'm like, I I don't have the cash I would have like the previous months, and we're about to head there. Mm -hmm. So it sucks when it happens, and you have five people, someone's gonna have a problem. Like, yep. <laughs> totally right, anime Boston, here we go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. We, 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 in so... in theory, I could drive it. I wouldn't like it, but I could drive it. <laughs> Ooh, <God. laughs> no. Fuck. Uh, Pyro, oh, you said that we have donations in. that came in. Oh boy, oh, yeah. yeah. Let, all right, hit me with them. Because okay. we're all here, not now. ready. <laughs> not fucking ready. So we'll I'm start drop here. Kick over. Uh, the VN veteran hit us again. 
our, no. our uh, one here. Oh, no. And he's a veteran at this point for us. A <laughs> hundred and five dollars. Uh, uh, they they just casually dropped that while the stream was going on. Uh, they said, can't watch right now, but I sense you might need this. Four tokens for every player and one for Van Mon. Uh, have fun. Looking forward to watching it after. Also, Pyro. Oh, hi. Uh, you are awesome. <laughs> Your oh. antics as Riot are hilarious. Oh, thank, mm. thank you. Yep, I that's did. four for every player. I'm not a player, so everybody else take your tokens. <laughs> all right, Nick, you get two tokens. I, yeah, uh, I, you get all of them for me because I can't get any more. Right, that's four for you. That's two from Gary. Who else is capped out? <laughs> I, do, I, mean, I am not capped yet. I, you're good. I, I, I am not yeah. capped. So four and we that will chase actually caps me. me. Great. Uh, uh, all right, so I will say this uh, because they technically were not geared towards me. That's six tokens going to Vanmon. Yes! Woo! Carpool! And he, and he will and he uh, at, at, the, at the end of the stream, I will let you know what the Vanmon total is. We're not getting oh, there yet. Uh, Pyro, continue. So this is the fun one. Oh, boy. Cobra is Cobra. Fucking and I, Cobra. I love him to death. Cobra's he just Cobra. casually came in, dropped a hundred dang dollars. Yeah. And just said, sup, fellas. Yep, I saw that. <laughs> I saw his right. There's, no de there's no de like definition of who it goes to, what it's for, who gets it. So what do we do in this case? That's uh, the DM. I, all right, here, here's what I'm going to say, because I have a lot of tokens. And uh, here's the thing. I don't like having a lot of tokens. I'm okay with having them whenever they are literally geared towards me. But I'm going to say if they're not geared towards anybody, hey, Van Mon. <laughs> Oh, God. That's twenty more tokens. Fucking uh, Cobra, Cobra, I love Cobra you. I love in. that. Cobra popped in with Cobra the of fucking butters Stotch from South Park. He's like, "Hey, Phyllis," and then the van just <laughs> lights on fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that so one it, gift yeah. from community I keep seeing, where it's like someone <laughs> walks in with a bunch of pizzas and there's just fire everywhere. Oh, no, that's uh -huh. fair. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, Pyro, you got anything <laughs> else? I got three I more. I'll, I'll hit them quick. Uh, All right. One is so Autumn Autumn Woodham. Uh, and I, I know this now because they spelled it out and pronounced it for me in here. Or So thank you. Uh, and it says, this is going to Van... Ma nah, I'm just messing to the one with the lowest amount of tokens, also it's pronounced Woodham. Uh, and that's $10, so that's two tokens. So whoever, is a DM? <laughs> whoever isn't full, I guess. Uh, I, think, I, I think it's going to go to ER. I think they have the lowest it? right now. How much yeah, do you have? I believe it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Yeah, Greason has 11, so yeah. All yours, man. And now you both I mean, have 11. Na like na yeah, congrats, something. you both have 11 now. Is that Please. right next to Max at 12, right? I know, the Max is 15. Oh, wow, I keep forgetting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really, I don't know if we can do this, but I think we actually are going to have to bring adversity tokens up to 20. Well, that's but unfortunately that's the thing, is that the, <laughs> the sheet only the allows for 15. <laughs> Yeah, we, we so the moral of the story is Van Mon is going to grow ever more powerful. Yeah, more powerful than us. Van Mon's going to become sentient. I'm, and become the I'm telling you, he better look just like Shotmon X7. Like uh, the yeah. end of the set. Yeah, I, I, I see it. I, I better like that. That's like I think Mecca's within Mecca's. So you when, know, mm -hmm. when, when it happens, <laughs> I'll play. I'll play the Mega's theme. When it happens, I'll play. Hey, guys, it. He, here's the thing. Should I contact Carlos? <laughs> what, what, what would you have to ask? <laughs> I, I'm just what? going to say I'm going to have Roro fight the power already for the in the background. Oh no! <laughs> you know what? Oh, hey, oh, fight the power! I, I look As forward to seeing what you throw at. Uh, I'm, I'm looking to see what you throw at Carlo. It'll be, it'll be Van good. the Unvanable, Mon the Unmonable. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Roro, Ro, okay, Ro, so, fight the power. Uh, we got two more. Let me get to them right quick. Uh, Botluck Productions, 
uh, multiple dust mons equal multiple targets makes my job easier for you, Nick. It's <laughs> it's no <laughs> legion, but I hope it helps. Insert laughter. Uh, so uh, five dollars more to Nick. All right, that's one more token. I'll take that. Point to ultimates. That's and fine. And then we have G-Man SCP. Hmm. Is that actual? Are they? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, anyway, uh, they said, I want to give this to Riot for his mad science, if not for our Lord and Savior Van Mon. Well, <laughs> I am actually capped, so two tokens more to Van Mon. All Is right. Everyone but the twins capped. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. You, you see, that's because everyone but the twins are popular. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's that fair. everyone but the twins needs it. The twins are unstoppable. <laughs> yeah, everyone yeah, knows. Right. Everyone knows you don't need it. <laughs> yeah, you guys have been kind of <laughs> busting your butts on this one with things. Fucking forty-four over there. Uh, God, if only I had more adversity tokens. If only I had spent at least. Six more. We gotta got a flat fifty. Now I'm gonna <laughs> starve. <laughs> uh, I'm in pain. I just wheeze. That's, uh, that's me right now. Uh, I'm in Spain without the S. <laughs> uh, I love it. So, that said, uh, is everyone prepared to head back? I think so. Uh, I just want to answer one question from the chat. Uh, Go Zeta right ahead. Alpha, I absolutely love Karaman's oh. line. It's my favorite unofficial Digimon partner in in, in every game. Uh, he might play. Oh no, that that's Oreo. Uh, but where is it? Okay, a uh, question: What rookie level Digimon would y'all want as as a partner? I absolutely want a Karaman. First of all, Digimon Cyber Sleuths. You can have Karaman as a partner, I believe. And also, uh, I believe everyone is playing with the Digimon they would want as a partner. We all chose our favorites, I think. Yeah, we've, uh, we've entered this a couple times. Our favorites, in some cases. I mean, of course, there's a few others I'd pick, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> looking at the figures I have, it's like, yeah, it's, it's Ant-Man, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, just, just want to make sure that was said, because, I mean, we all love these, these Digimon. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Also... Also, right quick before we go back, uh, just every time I want to remind people, when we get out of breaks, because uh, I don't know who's popped in, who's left, what's going on, uh, we do not interact with the chat during main game stuff. So basically, the only time we interact with you guys is during these, so we keep immersion and whatnot, and also anything that ha comes in during the main game stuff, we don't acknowledge, we don't, we don't talk about until the breaks happen. So, uh, basically, with thank you for the adversity tokens that you guys have given in here. All that affects the main game because it was during this break. Uh, anything after that point will not affect until after into the, the end game we'll acknowledge and talk about. And then it'll, it'll take effect in the next game. Um, and lastly, uh, please uh, let anybody know who comes in. It seems like they're actually talking uh, to us or whatnot. Uh, since you guys are interacting with each other in the chat. If you see anybody who's kind of confused about how things work, let them know that we don't interact with during the the main game stuff so they don't feel like we're just ignoring them for no reason or whatever. We appreciate you guys. We love you. Thank you. And, uh, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you all so much, because good lord. Uh, you guys oh my are God. So we're at level three. You guys are insane. Uh. <laughs> <sighs> all right, ready? So, with that, as I'll ahead. ever be. Let me go the Digi Revolution is up and coming. Did you see? Did you hear? Did you roll, roll, fight the power? So, uh, that said, a lot of you have now finished your uh, lovingly delicious breakfast presented by the <clears throat> by the staff here at the tower slash hotel, and with full stomachs and plenty of gusto inside the lot of you. You pile back into the van to get ready for whatever it is you're planning on doing today. So we're going back to that place. Uh, that's the plan, anyway. Go if we go back to the edge, I, I might. I, I guess I guess it's fine to tell y'all at this point. I, I think I can build us something with a remnant 
of that firewall, if there's any of that tech there, and the data reorganizer, I want to see if I can make something to give us a little bit more protection. All of ooh, us ooh, are, ooh. are are we're in a lot more danger than our Digimon are. They can take a hit pretty well, but I've realized, especially lately, how easy it is to get pretty banged up. Oh, have you? Look, I, uh, I think Tier One's fine. Tier One's fine. I'm saying as I'm putting him in Oscar the Grouch esque style armor that I've configured from scrap <laughs> that I found. If it's his using shield using ER's I, duct tape and a few hubcaps. If his shield idea means I don't have to wear this, I say we go. I mean, I just want to throw this out there just in case, because we don't know if that thing reformed. Uh, I think this time we should, you know, kind of follow Gary's idea of someone on top, and if it, I mean, first of all, if it looks like it's still broken, cool. But if it, if we can't tell right away, we should be ready to kind of bounce out of there, because that would... As, as a you condition wanna... of me getting over there to get the tech I need, I am willing to follow any and all stipulations that Gary has to the letter. Okay. All right, I think we can make things happen then. Cool, it sounds like we're actually being a team for once. Let's see, we got this, guys. Let me out of this thing! Oh. <laughs> Fine. Stop taking out. Uh, undoing the uh, trash bin armor. Uh, thank you. So, a lot of you begin your trek all the way with, in the van to the outskirts of Data City proper, to where the firewall was. Question right quick. Go ahead. What are we playing in the back of the van for the Digimon? That is a good question, Gary. What's playing on in the DVD so, player? So, I would say... DVDs? Yeah, today, I'm thinking it's going to be... D4 to the Let's say Kazam. <laughs> All right, it's Kazam playing in the background. Get set, my tet tet tet. About ten minutes in, everyone is doing their best to keep their sanity. <laughs> <laughs> After thirty-five minutes of driving, getting through at least the first third of the movie, you pull the van over to the side to where. The firewall was located. Riot, as you make your way outside of the van, trying to hobble your way over, like, oh, please, like, let me find something that's here. There's nothing but, like, tracks in the road, both from the van as well as from various different footprints that are making their way into Data City. Seems with a lot of you breaking the firewall down, a lot more Digimon have made their way into Data City. Something here. It's not Can like you the examine? just materialized out of nothing. There's got to be at least a piece of the tack. Hey, Grayson. Yeah. Yo, can you turn your goggles? Oh, yeah, way ahead of you, buddy. And I uh, flip up my goggles and plug in my dish device. Sure enough, you take a look around and you see the ground around the area that's got like kind of like that light pixelation going on you see the various different trees you see the van it, in its solid uh, solidified form which again feels weird in comparison to everything else there are no walls you remember looking at the firewalls with your goggles and they were pretty dang sturdy in comparison even if you could still kind of see through them slightly there's no remnants of the wall around you even if you look for I don't know. Pyro. Oh, you, can you, you hear me? You, you, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you called for me. What's going on? But... <laughs> oh, I because I, I you went silent on my side. Oh, I apologize. Oh, yeah, sure. there's yeah, uh, essentially there's yeah. Grayson says yeah. There's there's nothing as far as he can see, even as far as the firewall was able to make its way across. There's okay. Just open space. I have a couple different ideas. Plan B is next time we fight one of these things. I try to, to copy, get a copy of his code for next time, but let me see if I can 
do something. Uh, can I try to... Okay, like, even when you delete something, you can always find the, the code and, like, restore it. Can I try to... Try to find, like, an echo of its code? Maybe, like... I guess the time machine in the in, of the digital world or like the trash bin using the wayback machine yeah i want to see if i can wayback mm -hmm. machine the firewall which might fuck us a little bit but we have a dust come on now all righty okay, go ahead on the wall and we have to fight it go ahead and roll me a brains check i'm gonna set the dc to 17. another 44 incoming <laughs> Okay, 17. How, how important is this to Riot? I mean, the, the idea of getting us shields was important. I, I don't know how us having to redo the fight is- Divides the digital forest from Data City, like where the wall was initially stacked up at. It is almost indiscernible. But very quickly, you were able to spot a fragment of descending data and code in that in between. You decide to go ahead and be like, well, let's see if we can pull off of that. You pull it up on your on your goggles to be able to try and like bring it up further. And again, it's like finding shards of broken glass. You can see that there are bits and pieces that would have made up the firewall, but without forming them together, it is difficult to be able to discern. So using those bits and pieces as you just kind of scan walking back and forth, you're able to find these little puzzle pieces of these broken shards of data. Until eventually, after maybe 35 minutes of just scanning back and forth, where everyone is just kind of watching you pace, you got it. It is not a solid code. It is definitely not the baseline code of how the firewall worked in its shape or form. But you understand the relative defensive properties that the firewall had. It is a functional code. It is not the main code proper. It is about as good a copy you can make out of bits of broken data. Right. It's it, it's a uh, image in a lake that has a ripple going through it. Not it's not uh, clear, but it's there. Swung. Uh, okay, guys, I, I, I will delete you all. No, I'm just kidding, it's me. As long as we can, I don't know, upload it into the data reorganizer, and I can throw this in there, and he takes off his belt again. Why, why, do, you take why off do, belt? You, why do you keep doing that? Stop it! Because it's, I'm going to have to put it in the thing! I you mean, don't have to take it off to illustrate your point. I mean, what if I just like tied it to the digivices? What, uh, Make that like a new program. Okay. New question. What if that goes? Wait. Oh, so, so you think you can program the code into the digivices without us even going through the rearranger? Like an app? I, um, maybe. A force Maybe field like an app from our digivices? That's he's gonna. Was this some kind of apple monster? <laughs> Wait, what you fucking say? You don't know about Digimon uh, apple monsters? We don't talk what about we some, app mon. <laughs> what are we some kind of apple mon? <laughs> we some sort of suicide squad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, I, but like. I'm just wondering if we need the two different devices if we have our digivices. I'm, I don't know if I can make the data rearranger make something that's not physical, but I'll make like a copy of this code. That way, I can run a test. Does that sound good with you, man? If you think that you can somehow program our digivices to give us a force field, then by all means. I didn't think it could be done just through coding. I thought we were going to have to build something. I mean, my idea is, I'm not going to lie, my idea is probably like a bit more of a reach, but if we get it to work, then that saves you a belt. 
there. At least that means he can keep his freaking belt on. Grayson's just like shrugging, Plus, like, is that, is that a word? Where I was gonna need everybody else's belts too, but you know. My pants will fall down. I will look very silly and then I will be embarrassed. I mean, you get them back, presumably. Okay. Presumably. presumably. Okay. Okay. Uh, Nick, can I try to make the force field app? All right. Uh, you make your way to the back of the van in order to activate the data reorganizer. And you... to be clear, I tried to make a copy of the code. That way, <coughs> if this goes wrong, I, I don't just burn our only copy of it. Not completely fair. You upload a, uh, a copy of the code onto your laptop. It is shield underscore parentheses one and, and parentheses. Fair enough. Attempting to make this is going to be considered an expert design. So for that, the DC will be a brains check of 20. Oof. This is something you've never done before. This is an idea that is very far out there and attempting to make something that would be an application that could be installed to every Digivice in theory. It's going to be tough. So, not to mention the fact that you're using pretty bare bones materials. Question. Yeah? If we had a tower, would that change things? If you went, if you went to the D terminal? Yeah, if we had a D terminal. You don't know. Damn. So I would need either a 19 or a natural 20. Or an explosion. I mean, my brains is my D20. Yep. Uh, so, like I said, a D20. Is, like I said, this isn't going to, like, you know, completely mess up when you, unless you roll a, a flat one and blow up the data reorganizer. Uh, but... <laughs> he rolls the net one. But, you know, if if you don't roll well enough, I mean, it's the graph's just not going to go through. Because oh, yeah. it, it's going to... It's trying to pull from ideas and your baseline knowledge of how to work the data reorganizer, which, admittedly, there's not a whole lot. You've used this thing a total of, what, maybe two times? Three? Yeah, yeah. So here's what I have to say to the face. Face. Okay. You putting, any, you putting anything in on this, or are you just leaving it be? <laughs> if you put your whole eleven, it was what it was what it would take at that point. But they already used some of theirs in order to get the. the yeah, <laughs> I, I only have five tokens left. Kid. <laughs> oh, like is, hold on. Can he since, both van on? Since this is <laughs> can he both <laughs> wait, could we? Could we actually pull from Van Mon for this one time specifically? D that's the question. Do you want to pull from Van Mon? If that's an option, then yes, I would love we to delay play the second coming, <laughs> but for a cause. All right. I, I would love to have the I, shield app. I, I want to make sure that this is a unanimous vote from everybody. Is are you guys using points from Van Mon? Yes. I would say I, yeah. I I say yes as well. ER says no. ER says oh. no. Yeah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, and uh, Reiner? <laughs> uh, this is adding on to helping his brain check. This is using points from Van Mon to make this work. Are you saying, the, uh, are you going to agree with them to use points from Van Mon? Yeah. Yeah. I'm assuming Van Mon's in the triple digits right now. I'm I'm yeah. just hoping the chat themselves are on board with this and that we're not gonna get how dare you. How Watch dare from now on Grayson not gonna get any adversity tokens from chat because they're offended by my disgrace. Okay. <laughs> the the, 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 the decision The decision has been made. Points are taken from Van Mon. You go ahead and you put in the baseline code being like, come on, just please work. And the van's still running. After all, you guys figured this was going to be a quick trip for the most part. The data reorganizer decides to kind of like kick around and bust before like it starts making enough noise and tumbling around to the point that it almost falls out of the back of the van before there is a cough and a sputter from underneath the van from the exhaust pipe that 
hits the cube as it tumbles out of the back end of the van, giving it a nice little ka-chunk as it lands. Sorry. Sorry. And the cube lights up before finally opening back up and you see within that little energy sphere you see a very solid set of cascading data. Uh, yo, right. Can I have your device? Yeah. Go on. Ooh. Whatever you're doing, I hope it works, man. <laughs> uh, actually, you, you just like hold it up to the code. See what happens. Okay. Or should we all oh. uh, do this like we're freaking power or something? Then. Wait, oh, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Originally, I was going to prototype this just to make sure it didn't screw anybody else's stuff up first. I think if any, if, like, it was my idea, I'll risk then... it first solo, and then we'll see if it needs all, if it works with mine and we can get it there, then everybody else just jump right in. But if it yeah, sure. goes haywire, you, right? I'd prefer that we don't all lose our dig digivices. I mean, dude, I'm a walking crash test dummy. No, no, yeah. That, that, that why I do this. This was his idea. Okay. All right. I'm going to try and hold the Digivice up to it like I did for the door. You hold your Digivice out to the data reorganizer. You see the data from the inside of this little orb slide its way from the center into your Digivice before it lights up with a blue light on the LED screen. You take a look at it, and you can see that, aside from the few options that you had on the Digivice, which had access to uh, your Digimon's data, your inventory, as well as the Messages app that would show the message sent to the lot of you that's still not complete, there's a new application, or a new option, on your Digivice that says Shield Protocol. I think this looks promising. Uh, I want to activate it. Sure enough, you go ahead and you select the button on your Digivice in order to mess with it. It's a little hard to do so because, again, it's the maneuverability on these Digivices is three buttons. One that helps to select it, one that's an accept, and one that is a back button. But you press it, and all of you watch as you see Riot have a slightly blue shield that kind of envelops his body almost slightly skin tight just slightly hovering over his skin he holds his digivice well how do you feel I feel like I mean it doesn't feel any different exactly but am I you, you ever seen like when a when an old TV has that freaking weird kind of glow off of it? Is it just me or is my arm doing that shit? <laughs> Grayson just like pokes Riot. Feel that? I did you don't feel it. it. And as you poke Grayson, you feel kind of like a ripple effect go out from the shield. It doesn't injure you. But it kind of like disperses before eventually fading before it goes too far. Okay, now I have a question. All right. Ryan, you said you wanted to test this. Uh. Well, if we're gonna do this, I think we should probably do it right. Hey, um. Hey, Reiner. Hey, Reiner. Yeah. You want to grab a rock? <laughs> Flame on from behind. Ryan. I'm not gonna say it, but I, I wanted to say I thought you'd never ask is what I would want to say, but uh I'll just be casual. Sure. Alright. I'm gonna <sighs> Sorry, sorry, Besides... sorry, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. I said I would do it anything by the book Gary's way on this, so maybe Gary has a better idea. I'm mid throw. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I'm like, I, you pause the the throw, or do you keep going? I was about to do it, and then he he said it right before I would I would have. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, Gary <laughs> says. <laughs> I was about to. I was about to. 
I didn't do it. I didn't do it this time. As I try and change it. Hey, we're seeing character development. Reiner did throw the rock this time. All right, Gary. Just luck. How how should we do this then? That's that's what I say. A, a series of chimes. Those um, noises from afar. <laughs> I know. Duskmon's got gas again. <laughs> uh, that was the other end. How how close is uh how close is the force field to like skin? It is maybe about an inch hovering above. Okay. How far out does it go? Like if he holds his hand out, like how far does it extend out? About an inch still? Yeah, it is it is the equivalent of like just an inch over his entire body. He's basically laminated. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh we got like four Digimon that can breathe fire. Uh one of you start a fire somewhere nearby. I can do that. Yeah, me too, I can do that. <laughs> four separate campfires <laughs> immediately. <laughs> We all we in one location and burn <laughs> a single point. Uh, you know, actually, I'll just like rob him of oxygen. I don't know if that's really going to test the shield. Well, no, I think we're trying to burn his skin. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, now you got fire. Now hold your hand over the fire. And if it's, if it's going to hurt you, then pull your hand away. Okay, this will be an interesting test. See if it's fire resistant. We honestly don't know what the shield is capable of yet, so that's smart. <sighs> it's okay. better than you getting beamed and then we have to take you back to Salomon and pay 80 more bits to get you resuscitated. I mean, I would pay for it myself, but apparently th 300 of my bits have gone missing. Yeah, well, what could have possibly happened to that, Terriermon? By asking me. I uh, no reason. Okay, I don't have any money. What are you talking about? <laughs> I put my hand close over the fire and start kind of inching it down a bit more. I'm still not feeling or well actually I, I can't get to say that. That's that's up to Nick to say. So you lower your hand further and further towards the flame proper. You're about an inch above the flame. You can feel the warmth. It's not overbearing, and it definitely feels refreshing, to say the least. You get your hand into the center of the flame, and the shield itself is molding around to the point where it is heating up. You can see that there are cracks beginning to form. So you pull your hand out at the last second before the shield around your hand, before eventually splintering up the rest of your body, shatters. Looking down at your app, you can see that the shield charge is currently in a recharge state. It doesn't give you a timeline, but it's progressing slowly. Eeyore reaches up for his phone to use the phone app to bring out a timer to time it. But then he remembers like, oh yeah, my digivice was my phone. Whoops. <laughs> I think that should at least be a good solid hit. It takes damage like once. And you us. didn't feel anything, right? I mean, not real. I felt the, the the heat vaguely, but I didn't feel any pain. Okay. So. We know that at least protected you. I'm okay with trusting that for the interim. Also, Is it the seems going... like it's recharging too, so it feels like this will be at least useful for m multiple things. Cool. Is Why? there also like uh, if the data stream is is it still there in the air, or will we have to craft this again? I think that was are you asking if if the uh if the data is still in the cube yeah, yeah. It, it, it's still there it is still there cool that's uh i'll get some so Hi. a lot of you begin to put your digivices towards the data stream 
And eventually it filters out to fill all of your digivices before eventually there's nothing in the central core. And sure enough, you all have that application now on your digivice. And you if you'd like it. to add into your character sheet, you can technically add one HP to yourselves. <laughs> Woo! I know you don't have HP Woo. normally, but now you have one at least. <laughs> hey, uh, Wyatt. Yeah? yeah? This is a good idea. Good job, yeah, man. Well, thank you. After... After that last fight, it just kind of became all too real that we are I mean I'm not I'm not trying to dig on anyone. I, I I felt like I'm supposed to be a heavy hitter on this team. I'm supposed to be able to pull my own weight, and I couldn't do that. But also, we got walloped, man. I mean Don't worry about me. I'm immortal. I mean, to be fair, between you and me, you're running headlong into the fray more than I am. I'm not doing that. I am very squishy. Heck, Terriamon runs into the fight more than I do, and I... That terrifies me. The little guy is not even half my size. Terriamon's just doing a goblin dance. <laughs> just <laughs> dancing the whole time. <laughs> doing a little dance. gremlin and demon <laughs> dance. Just doing default dance the whole time. Doing that little gremlin squat emoji. Great. Uh, so that said, how's uh, is everybody kind of just like pondering around at this point, heading back to the city? What's the what's what's the deal, everybody? Yeah, I just kind of, actually want to ask that. Uh, I don't know if you all heard that. That's that was the god Anjuman told me about when I skated by. Uh, so yeah, uh, what's our plan? We spent a night in the D terminal tower. And we need to figure out who the boss is. It sounds like we have to get past him. But... Honestly, I think like, we need more I'm money, excited. too. But Gary, we're talking about how to like what we need to do next. We need to get money. We're not going to be able to stay in this hotel for more than like one or two more days. What, do you want to like, look around for like, some walk? Yeah, I mean, I think oh. that's the only way we're going to be able to do things. Well, there's... Hmm. Uh, I, I was kind of skating around and there was this... The, this guy, Huckman, he was looking for his master. Turned this guy into, like, dragon awe. Wait, is there, like, another tamer guy? Like, another one of us walking around and he... I mean, could be. That, that could be a lead. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. mean, that's possible, but is it going to get us any money? That's that. Uh, I also saw this angel with a staff talking about God. Uh, and okay. I'm agnostic. Uh, what, what's, what was the third guy I saw? The, uh, the third one that you would have seen would have been the creature made out of Lego blocks that you never interacted with, but you saw them kind of like dragging a wagon behind them that was just filled with junk. I also saw a toy dude with uh, a wagon. Okay, well, let's just go back to town and ask around and see if we can find anybody that can, you know, point us in the direction of how we can get some money. That's a good idea. But, like, from there, how do we get to the tower? Like, we have to... I mean, the tower is the hotel we're staying in. I know, but it's also the D terminal. I mean, maybe I can hack around it? I, I, I only just like saying I can hack it as like a catch-all term because, you know, it, it, it's a lot more involved. Are we going to that. Ocean's Eleven our way into the D terminal? Maybe? I, I kind of want to Ocean's Eleven our way into the D terminal. Okay, you I wouldn't question. dare. <laughs> did, did that movie end well? Uh, I, I never saw the end of that. I think <laughs> Gary might have the best plan here. Just no, I'm agreeing that we need money first. I'm just saying, like, what's our long-term plan? I mean, oh. the long-term plan is ultimately going to be having to deal with whatever the boss of our hotel is. We, we're we the ones who just brought dozens and dozens of new Digimon into this town that he didn't want anybody new in. And That's he also right. is has a vested interest in keeping the D-Terminal off. So, uh, 
We have no idea what we're going to be up against. I say gather information. We need to find out who that guy is. Right, and considering and... all that, he's definitely going to raise our rent on our room, so we're going to need the money. <laughs> I mean, that's not what rent is, but I mean, you know, you're not I... objectively wrong. Uh... It's just the wrong term. Can Teriamond examine the tracks that are leading into the city? Yeah, sure enough. I mean, there's definitely a lot of footprints of various different sizes. There are a few drag marks that would be almost equivalent to, like, the, the Vegemon and how they would kind of move their bodies about. He's specifically looking for anything that could look like Ogamon. Uh... I'd say roll me a brains check, DC a 10? <laughs> could this be a grit check by chance? Why would you think it's a grit check? As you say, grit is like street smarts and like street level like knowledge. I figure like one, he's low to the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Two, uh, uh, just like first hand experience with the Ogaman and fighting him. Maybe he has he's going more off his first hand experience than his thinking about it, like gut instincts. You know what? I'll allow it. Go ahead and roll me a grit check, DC's 12. Oh, God. I still need to explode. <laughs> no! Oh, wait, that's a ER. No, wait, that's that's still tearing my sheep. <laughs> yep. So, unless you're burning tokens, which actually it would have to be Grayson that's burning tokens. You would have to burn El Van, Mom! So, uh... So sure enough, you stop on, that. Uh, <laughs> looking around at the tracks, there's a lot of tracks. There's a lot of tracks. There's a lot of footprints around here. You're like, man, I really wonder if I can find something that would be worthwhile to us. Maybe there's something here that maybe Ogremon makes made his way over here. It's about maybe three minutes of pacing while everyone else is having this conversation before you realize you're following your own tracks. <laughs> My God, these tracks are made of Terriamon. There's another Terriamon here, or a Lopmon, maybe. Or maybe a Tyriamon following a Lotmon. No, I think those are just your tracks. Oh. I knew that. That's my partner, guys. It's so Grayson, go ahead and take your token. He must uh, be so proud. Token. <laughs> <laughs> I was just testing oh, yeah. you guys. I, I get a token for that. Thanks for that. <laughs> You're welcome. That was my plan the whole time. <laughs> so, a lot of you hop back into the van. And Gary, you make your way back into Data City proper to try and figure out your next plan of actions of finding kind of what's around the area. You said that you guys are looking for someone that might be able to tell you yeah. about the uh, the leader of this area, or that that's part of it. Money. I think money first. Jobs. Fair enough. Yeah, because so, right now in my list of side quests that we've identified so far, help Hakman. Can I? Completely fair. I, I think. Only half of us have actually had jobs. Alrighty. Uh, sorry, uh, Rhino, did, did you want to say something? or? Oh, that was, that that I was me. Oh, okay. Can I, on the drive back, uh, grab the front seat and talk with Gary a little bit? Yeah, you can do that. Okay. Hey, so, um, thanks for having my back on that. Yeah. Um, Seems like um, everything worked out. Sure. We got a shield now. That's pretty freaking cool. And yeah, doing things your way, the cautious way of it, wasn't such a bad idea on testing the shield. I think I could stand to be a little bit more cautious with things. So thank you mm -hmm. for showing me that. Yeah, but I mean, with all due respect, I think we're going to need more than just a cautious plan moving forward. This place is ridiculous and insane, and it's only going to be a matter of time before we run into something that's so crazy that being cautious could get us killed. So I think I'm, I might need to take some pages from your book and... ER's book and Reiner's book and uh, act with less caution sometimes. Well, since you say that. Well, now I'm, now I'm worried. Now I regret saying it. 
what if we combined our approaches a little bit here? I've been thinking. Hold, hold, hold all skepticism, please. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're right. We do need to get money, obviously. We need to keep, at the very least, our hotel room while we're figuring things out. But I need to find somewhere in here where I can get a workshop. Because I think hmm. you and all our other friends, we need to have some kind of tool to defend ourselves. Hmm. I think it's time that Gary gets an upgrade and gets a weapon of his own. Hmm. I guess I'm interested. I I am pretty unfamiliar with weapons, though. Well, let's figure it out, I guess. If I can get my hands on a, a workshop or a scrapyard, we can build something that fits you. Heck, we can build something that fits Reiner, but I, I would consider probably it being a swing shop because he keeps throwing rocks and they do amazing things. Yeah, um, I was going to say. By the way, do we grab more rocks for Reiner? <laughs> They're everywhere. That's a good question. Did you? <laughs> it's, it's not the slingshot that makes me strong. It's how I, it's the strength at throwing the rock. So, the slingshot know. would only hold him back. Yeah, yeah we like grab some rocks for Rhino. So that you he gotta has... give him like he would probably be better if he got something for punching. So, <laughs> but from like the back, Grease, like, are you talking about getting Gary like a stun gun or something like that? Cause that sounds I awesome. genuinely don't know specifically what would fit Gary yet, but I want to experiment. That's why I need my workshop. Or a workshop. Alright. Fair enough. Right. <laughs> As well, a lot of you begin... Uh, uh, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, let's, let's start getting out and looking for some clues. Get yeah. some money. As you begin making your way into town proper, you see a lone Digimon that has a few people kind of like forming a small crowd around him that are like, I would say energetic to say the least about what's going on as he kind of you kind know, of waves to everybody who's wandering on by and just goes, step right up, step right up. Let's see if your head's as strong as you say it is. Headbutt contest, everybody. Let's see if you can break something. <gasps> oh, oh my God. God. We all turn over to stand. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, leave this to professionals. <laughs> oh my god. This you can see a single on Digimon toy. that's made out of like gears uh, slowly floating away using part of the gears on its side, like rubbing at its forehead, just like, ah, dang it. 25 bits, try your luck. See if you really got a strong head. <laughs> I slowly turn my head over as Monodramon over to ER. ER gives you a nod like, let's do this, buddy. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm willing. Finally, I'm willing a to chance to take. test. My Never mind, you, you do it. <laughs> I don't want to be the buzz. Step killer. aside, rookie. Aren't we trying to make money? Get a real champion, big gun. Yeah, but we, like, we win. win. We get the money. Hey, what's what's the prize? Oh, I see you're willing to give us a try here, are you? Fair enough. Oh, yeah. All you gotta do is beat my three challenges here. If you're able to beat all three, you get a fabulous prize, a bunch of bits, and access to my secret treasure. What's the treasure? That's a secret. It just keeps getting better and better. Oh yeah, we gotta win that secret treasure. Let's do this, guys. All right, so twenty-five bits, right? Twenty-five bits for entry. All right, let's do this, Malajavan. You got this. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, Lay it uh, on me. You hand over your twenty-five bits, and sure enough, Iman goes ahead. He moves over to the back end of this little like alley that he's kind of hauled all this stuff over to, and you see him bring over a. Hefty, like, freshly cut log that he places on a platform. All right, your first test is his hefty log. Go ahead and give it a try. <laughs> so do I, like, break it with my head? Is that... that it's a headbutt contest, buddy. That's all you no, got to do is to break Yeah, 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 I know. I just, just make sure. Okay, okay. 
Go ahead and roll me right. a brawn check. The DC is 10. It's like yeah. the brothers. <laughs> is it brawn or fight? It is a brawn check. Uh, it is me... pure toughness to break this. Ah. Uh, yeah, I think I'm rolling for this. Okay. Uh, mono, give me. There we go. Brawn. Okay. Brawn check. Oh, and what's the... What's DC the... is 10. 10, okay. Oh, wait. That's not Reiner. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> <laughs> Reiner comes up, just headbutts it. Ah! He's concussed. I will... Uh, oh, I saw class. I, I will put two four. adversity tokens. All right, fair enough. You spend two adversity tokens oh, yeah, to cheer ten, your mind. Yeah. You're like, come on, Monitor Mon, you got this. And with that extra bit of cheer from ER behind you, the uh, scale in the center of your head impacts into the log, splitting it in half before it slides off to the sides. Yeah. There's a it's round of applause Yoshi. from some of the onlookers that are kind of like watching your eye. Oh, I did it! I did it! Yes! Alrighty, you did it. Way to go, folks. That's step one. You got two more challenges to go. Claymon okay. is organizing the rest of the rookies in like a line behind Marjamon, like his hype squad, with their <laughs> arms crossed doing the Bancho stance. Claymon, <laughs> uh, I got bad news for you. I've only got 20 bits. No, no, man. We're just here for more support. We're just here to look tough. Oh, okay. So how do you only have 20 bits? I don't know. Yeah, but I had 320. That's weird. Hey, man, just whistling to himself <laughs> like, oh, man, you got robbed and you were out cold. That's so sad. I'm so sorry. Hey, man, come on. Bolo. Welcome Bolo. to the big city. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> here to support Marjamon. Bows, man. Bows, look tough. Uh, tell you about the guy with pants. So, you see Vimon goes ahead and uh, makes their way back on the back end and pulls out, kind of dragging this time a little heavier before placing it onto the platform. You see a solid metal cube that is about as large, if not slightly larger, than the log. All right. Now, this one's the one that stumps people. But if you can manage this, you're right there before the final challenge. Go ahead and give it a go. You seem like a tough Digimon. Give it a shot. Okay. It's another brawn check. The DC is 14. Oh my god. God, that's tough. Uh, and he lawyer this to be a fight. Uh, oh. uh, uh, three tokens in. Three tokens in? Yeah, Fair enough. Yeah. With the hype squad behind you, Monodramon, <laughs> you go in. You leap a little higher up into the air to bring your skull smack down into the center of this cube before, almost like a samurai sword, just... Slicing through this thing clean in twain before it ka-cha-chunk falls off to the side into perfectly split rectangular cubes of My metal. I'm like stanced down like I just did like a fucking clean cut like you were saying. Just like, yeah. <laughs> There's another round of applause from the Digimon nearby. A couple of like woots and hollers. This is for you, chat. You did this. <laughs> this is how Marjamon Digivolves. <laughs> Before this finally, is... Vimon kind of like slides the cubes off to the side and stands on the platform. All right, you've made it past the first challenge and the second challenge. Usually the second one's the stumper. Now you're up for the real fight. And he kind of like claps his fists together before pointing square at the V on his forehead. Give it a shot. Let's see if you got some moxie. You want us to kill you? <laughs> you won't hurt me if you wanted to. <laughs> The CC is four. <laughs> <laughs> you see Vimon standing on the platform, ready to go. What's the DC? The DC is 18 for a brawn check. Oh my god. Jason is doing a quick little scan on Vimon. Alright. Uh spend me and uh go ahead and give me a brains check. DC will be 12 for the to, to scan Vimon. I I also want to do a Gary check oh. once that's done. Fair enough. What, what's Gary doing? Gary wants to check at this point for an obvious scam. Oh, uh, Gary's got a history in performance and a history in showmanship as well as obfuscating stuff. So I think this is probably the part where Vimon pulls a fast one. And I want to see if I can figure out if there is a catch. Sure. We'll say DC's 12. Roll me a charm check. Oh. You got it. As you try and like kind of figure out what's going on. 
And EO just kind of asks, how many attempts do we get? Oh, that's all right. A, that's a Gary check. All right, fair enough. So Gary, looking at Vimon, he's confident. He's definitely up there like this is this is the way it is. However, to the undiscerning eye, you can see just above his temple where he's kind of like pointing at the V, like, come on, give it everything you got. He's sweating. There's a little <laughs> bit of nerves there. He didn't expect anyone to get this far. He's confident in his skills, but he's he's usually expected people to break during the first two challenges. The fact that someone made it here, he's actually got to have to try. So there's no scam. There's definitely not anything along those lines. He wasn't expecting anyone to get this far, but that that's the most you can kind of discern out of this. Gotcha. So the fact that someone got here is he's like, oh, oh, no. <laughs> Wait a second. I'm, I just realized because you said DC is 18. DC is 18 for a brawn check. Is there any way we can make this a fight check? Is this now against an opponent? This is not a fight check. This is pure toughness against each other. <laughs> OK, here's my thing. My di the dice are literally going to have to explode. Understandably. Can I try to psych Vimon out before Monodromon does a headbutt? <laughs> How would you like to try and psych out Vimon? Um, I'm gonna. I, I I would say. Gary's gonna. Gary's gonna come over and uh, like look very, very closely inspect the V on Vimon's forehead. All right. And then Gary's going to, uh, Gary's just gonna, <sighs> all right, and go over to Monodramon and, uh, and say, after what you do to Vimon, I'll pay for his, I'll pay for his recovery. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, you know, what? I'm gonna look over to Vimon with a sympathetic look in my eyes, like as though I'm pitying a bug about to be squashed on the street, and, and say, "It's gonna be okay, buddy. You're gonna make it out of this." Can, can I... for for <laughs> that, I will say, depending on how the roll goes, if it's not enough on the flat, mm -hmm. I will allow Gary to add adversity tokens for this. Okay. Uh, I actually I have to say, that's impressive stuff. Okay. <laughs> I was going to ask if I could actually use loyalty for Bonojaman so I could actually present, like, lend him an embassy token just by, like, going up, breathing up the uh, scale, like, like, trying to, like, sharpen his wits or something. I don't know. I, I'm gonna say that's not really a pretty solid argument you're giving me. So I, I'm uh, totally fair. I, I, I just want to see if I can fail, <laughs> Mary. Totally okay, no, nope, that's fair. So, all right, and I'm, Mono, I, yeah. I have one more thing. All right, Monojaman, this is gonna sound weird. Okay. You, you wanna just kind of like slap yourself to psych yourself up and do some damage to yourself to activate battle sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh. God. <laughs> is this a liar liar scene in the bathroom? <laughs> Kinda, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm kicking my own ass! What does it look like? Just what is that? Really just... I punch him for the punch. Him once. watches him and like punching himself in the face. So Monodramon. It's a broad yeah. check. DC's 18. ER can help you because he's your tamer. Gary is going to be able to help because of the slight psych out to Vimon. <laughs> Give me that brawn check, please. Um... <laughs> uh... AR, how much are you putting in? I only have six, so I can make that a 12. All right, Gary. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> All right, what? that's 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 eighteen right there. If you both <laughs> burn those amounts, so I'm burning it, I'm ready. I didn't. Oh, Monodramon, be the game where we break the DM. <laughs> Monodramon, you <laughs> jump high into the air using your wings to get a little bit more leverage before coming down in a dive bomb. 
Vimon's looking up at you like, this is easy. Before looking down over at Gary, who's got that sympathetic look on his face, you see his stance falter for a moment before he looks back up to you, realizing how close you are and going, oh no. He doesn't even get the words out before your skull impacts into the V and he goes flying into the grate right behind where he's been standing, unconscious. I like to think this entire time, like as the dust settles it's behind Majumon, Flamemon, Magimon, and Terriamon is still standing the bunch of pose, like that is the king of headbutts. <laughs> I'm just impressed that Gary passed an intimidation check when we had Duskmon right there. <laughs> Never underestimate Gary Pasternak. <laughs> <laughs> Dustman was too occupied Boncho posing. What do you mean? Yeah, he was part of the Boncho. What do you Yeah, uh, he was part of the hype squad. So, a good maybe 15 minutes pass as everyone tries to wander on over to be like, hey, hey, you good, buddy? I mean, I, I, mean, I have my uh, heel chip. I kind of feel like we should save that for our guys for when we fight the boss. <laughs> I wrap his head in duct tape, just in his forehead, just as a bandage. <laughs> so as, the forehead. I thought he was going to the side. So, as, so as Vimon slowly comes to a stand up, kind of looks over towards the lot of you and just goes, Whoa, that's, that's a ringer right there in the head. I'll be honest, you guys, you guys are pretty tough. And he kind of like extends his arm out to, to Mono Dramon to shake it. You've certainly won your prize. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a bulk of the earnings from all the, all the people who tried. And he co goes behind this little stand that he's got set up to the side. <laughs> uh, there's also a little jar that says tips on it. It's filled hmm. with a couple of bits. He like moves that over to the side, pulls out this crate filled with bits and slides it over to the lot of you. Uh, ER, you can distribute at your leisure 1100 bits. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I need to do some math. My uh oh, you're and not poor anymore. You see uh Vimon kind of makes his way over towards the back end. It reaches into the bottom of the tip jar before grabbing something at the bottom and pulling it out. And this right here is your grand prize, my secret treasure. And what he places it? it into Monodramon's hand. You can add also into your inventory, ER. One brawn augment chip. Oh. This chip, when applied to your Digimon, gives it a plus one to brawn rolls. You can have a total of two augment chips on your Digimon at any given time. Ooh. So this is like a permanent uh, plus one when, as long as it's equipped. A attuned magic item. <laughs> nice. Oh. I didn't know those, those existed. Did you not read his documents? No. <laughs> did you guys not? Be... Did did y'all not read the law, the lore doc I made <laughs> with rules and I regulations? Didn't, I didn't read the rules because I wanted to be surprised. That's fair. That's mm -hmm. completely. I fair. want to live by the moments. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely applying that to uh, to Mono Jamon. Fair enough. So if you want to go ahead and add to it for Mono Jamon, you now have a permanent, at least at the moment, until you. Switch it out for a different chip or add a different one. Plus one to all brawn rolls. I, I add that to his description for you. Yep. Yeah, it's very much that. like the, I hope. It reminds me of those like low level items that are like character specific that like, yeah, you find better items down the line, but this one's tailor made for this character. You're not going to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't care if I have this plus, plus 50 magic belt. This one says it's wins belt. And she's going to keep it, damn it. It's, why would I not go through the entire game with the Kruzan family sword? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Grey, mm -hmm. iron, tier 2 sword. That's yeah. how it works in Dark Souls too. They give you that broken sword. It's it's busted. It's broken. Why would you ever get rid of it? Yeah. Exactly. Disgusting stats. At which point, Vimon kind of like still rubbing in his forehead that's now bandaged up with duct tape. Not the best bandaging, but it is definitely something holding his cranium together. <laughs> And it looks over towards the lot of you. Way to help me put on a show, you guys. Really needed some entertainment around the city. That was really neat. I tip him five bits. 
Oh, well, thank you kindly. <laughs> hey, man, that that was awesome. Appreciate the show. Also, of course. I, divvy, I divvy up the bits. Everyone gets 220. Hell yeah. Uh, how, do you know of any other, like, areas where we can go to make some uh, bits? Well, I don't know about any other street performers around here like me, but there's definitely some Digimon around that are looking to start <laughs> a business in Data City. There's all kinds of people. Cool. I, last yeah. I saw, I think Toy Akuma was trying to start up a junk shop, but I think he had some trouble with his uh, real estate issues. Guys, oh, I, I think I saw that guy. <laughs> oh, think... by the way, uh, do you know if there's like a upgrade shop, like that bronze ship? Do you know if there's a place where we can go to buy those kinds of upgrades? I'm not too terribly sure on that one. I know there's a lot of stuff sold in bulk in the bigger parts of the city, but I know they're very expensive. Good to know, thanks. As for... I think Toy Akumon usually picks up a couple of things like that. That's why he's trying to set up shop, you know, help out the little guy. I, thanks. Guys, I think I saw where he was going. We can try checking where I saw him. Right, idiot. Right on your, your skateboard and report back. I share a fact. What's the meaning of haste? Uh, also, uh, <laughs> Vimon. Uh, it was Vimon, right? Yeah, it's Vimon. F first of all, love me, you dude. Uh, you're you're awesome. I like your I like your style. I like your attitude. Uh, have you seen any like new Digimon coming into town? Hmm, I'm not too sure on that one. I know there was there was a little bit of commotion about one of the knights making his way into town. Usually we don't see him terribly often, but apparently he's here for either a vacation or business. No one really came to ask him. Which should be fair, he's kind of scary sometimes. One of the knights? West. The knights here? Oh yeah, uh, one of the royal knights. They're very, very mm -hmm. rare every now and again. Usually oh. they're kind of posted up. Yeah, that, that doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, I don't do understand what you mean by that. Asking us Terriamon, does that mean anything to us? Uh, to the Digimon in the room? You yeah. know full well that the Royal Knights are individual Digimon that are cream of the crop. Meant to be high-level security Digimon in some way, shape, or form to help preserve the peace. He mentioned a singular Royal Knight was here, meaning either one, something's up, or two, if it's supposed to be a vacation. Like, why would a Royal Knight be here without actually needing business? <laughs> That, that's alarming. It's the equivalent of saying the president's in town. <laughs> that's alarming. Why would a royal knight be here? I mean, he just I'm said not vacation. Terribly sure. I mean, is, Tima, is that a big deal? I mean, yeah, the, they're like the best of the best. I mean, you saw what Duskmon did to the wall, right? Yeah. Picture a hundred of that. Probably wow. more. Well, it wasn't my full power, so... Uh, fine, picture what Dustman did to the wall at full power times a hundred. You can't, it's too amazing. <laughs> They're like... I, I will climb up there. They're like security. So, like, this is the police of this place? What's a police? Yeah. I uh, think that, but for the whole digital world. They're, They're like, like the toughest guys around. And Flamon's saying that. He's got an ego, but not as bad as Dustmon's. Hey, 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 I think my ego's pretty big. Thank you. Okay, yeah. W what, what's an ego? Uh, this knight must be in town to get some pointers. Perhaps I could teach him a thing or two. Is it but wrong he's... for me to assume somehow they're going to become a problem for us? I mean, I don't see how they'd be a problem if they're cops. And they're all obviously nice guys. <laughs> no comment. Nobody say a no word. Comment. <laughs> Not a soul say a this, word. We don't take a that. <laughs> Not a Step soul. The... <laughs> Not a soul. We are transitioning the bit. So, <laughs> Vimon <Grayson>. goes. <laughs> Grayson puts away his laptop filled with illegal downloads. <laughs> <laughs> so Vimon kind of rubs at the back of his head, just like. Again, thanks so much for helping out with the street performance. It brought a lot of a big crowd for the most part, and even though that's most of my earnings on things, you guys definitely earned it. Oh yeah, for what's worth, I think most people are going to have a hard time getting past round two. Oh, most definitely. Anyway, 
Thanks again, as he kind of, like, takes the, uh, <laughs> the metal cubes and kind of, like, tries to smush them together and uses the duct tape that's around his head. He unwraps it to try and tape up the cube again. Oh, by the way, uh, Flimon just quickly asked, did you get, like, the name of the knight, or did you just know that there's a knight in town? I haven't seen the knight that's in town, but from what I can tell, everybody's got a lot of... A lot of wariness around him, to say the least. He keeps looking for really interesting restaurants. I don't think he's found what he's looking for yet. Right, right. Well, hold, on. hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on. I think he's gonna like thing. approach Vimon and like crouch down and grab like the cheeks on the side of his face. Just be okay. like, "You're saying that this royal knight is a big deal, and that probably means he's got a lot of money, right?" <laughs> I know it. To be fair, Royal Knights really don't need money. They usually kind of get whatever they want because of their status. But I'm sure they might have some as a result of rewards from all their good deeds. That I'm going to take that thing you said as a yes. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> we need ingredients. It's like, clap signs his cheek real quick. Reiner, you're cooking for, for a night. Okay. <laughs> This is gonna work. This is a great idea. Okay, we just need to find this knight and invite him to a gourmet meal and insist he pays for it. Hopefully the knight's not temperamental. I mean, either that or we need to get Reiner a job at whatever restaurant we know he's gonna be at, which is a more interesting task, too. Or we start a business and make a restaurant do so well from the Royal Knight that we sell the restaurant and invest in real estate. And we buy the D-Terminal. Hey, exactly. It, it might be a dream for me to own a restaurant, <laughs> but just know we're trying to find a way out of here at the same time. So. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. That's a, that's yeah, a, that's, a, that's a Oh, real plan that's, of a commute. You know, that's a great five-year plan, but we kind of need more like five-minute plan. That's actually a oh. good point. Uh, it, Grayson, uh, I, I forgot to ask you, man. Uh, once we get into the D terminal, do you think you can like brain your way into like maybe sending a message back to home, just to let people know we're here and we're okay? Uh, first of all, I love that you use the word brain as a verb. That's really I, I, I'm all about that. Second, I, I can give it a shot. Why is there someone we need to reach out to? They're just generally speaking, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I can. Honestly, up until. 30 minutes ago, I'd, if you said, hey, can you make a shield out of our digivices, I'd call it crazy talk, but taking, let's take a page off Riot's book. Let's mad scientist this stuff. Pandora's box has been open. I like it. That, that was ominous. So, the lot of you hop back into the van, give a nice little wave to Vimon as he goes about trying to reset up his uh, his little stall as people kind of disperse and he gets ready to set up for the next performance of his little side gig. You all decide to start driving the van around town, maybe picking up some ideas and some knowledge on where this supposed royal knight might be located. And it's from there that we are going to end session. Oh! <laughs> Just three more hours, Mom! Bring us to end screen, oh my god. And that was incredible. Majamon <laughs> headbutt contest thing, what the hell, That was man. great. I, I had that planned from a long while ago as just a fun little bit, <laughs> not knowing full, not knowing at all that Monotramon would be into headbutts. So the fact that this worked out was beautiful. Perfect. <laughs> God, just... <laughs> I, I knew the moment I brought it up, I was just like, all right, but when when's it going to happen? Who's going to start having a field day of just being like, all right, let's 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 get Monitor Mon in there. It's this whole bit. I love how there was no question. It had to be Monitor Mon. <laughs> yeah, everyone was just like, yep, throw him in. <laughs> even, even Duskmon back down. <laughs> it's like, I'm strong. I am not headstrong. A perfect just... opportunity for me to never mind. You do it. <laughs> Step back, rookie. Let a real champion of head butt Step make back, it. rookie. <laughs> it, it's like that meme from uh, 
uh, Kingdom Hearts where Woody's holding back so like, no, it's I got this. But it's Marujimon and Duskmon. You don't uh, know anything about friends or love. Listen here. Well, you're saying I don't care. Headbutt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm oh, so good. Fucking hung up on the fact of the perfect delivery of you. <laughs> you're cooking for a night. All right. <laughs> I guess sure. <laughs> I love Viner's energy. Ah uh, man. I, I'm glad I have cooked up Thanks. a decent bit of uh, intrigue for for all of you of like, oh man, there's a royal knight in this? Dude, the second you're like, he has a scarf, and I'm like, okay. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I was right. like, that's, that's... And you're like, yeah, I'm looking for my master, and I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, my brain was so empty because I was just playing ER <laughs> that the moment Chase made a sound, uh... Cy my, me playing Cybersuits kind of kicked into my memory, and it's all just fucking shattered for me. I was like, oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> what, oh, no. what am I what? doing? What's yeah, going on? The funny thing to me is I was AFK. I came back, saw the map, and I saw Huck, come on. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> God. What the fuck, man? So, yeah. What, <laughs> what the Huck, man? <laughs> I... Uh... So, no, I am. Yeah, God. <laughs> this oh, is so sorry, much fun. Uh, Pilo, I just want to say thank you for being a good sport about being robbed. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought I, I I thought it was funny. Like I I was the one who kind of suggested it so they'd be able to have some money. But being aware of the cool. fact that he was never conscious to to know it, I just thought it was fun to keep the bit going. <laughs> I'm really all about it, man. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we appreciate your sacrifice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I almost, I almost, after we got the thing and you were talking about dividing it, I was almost about to say, ER, maybe you should just hold on to mine. I think there's a hole in my digibytes or something. <laughs> there's a hole in the digibytes. <laughs> hey, Omar, let's put a new piggy bank. <laughs> who were who? I just like, Ooh. Okay, now to Rob Gary next. And look at that, guys. We made it through a session without combat. <laughs> we happened. did yeah. it! It was time. I, I mean, I, I had one in a V. I was technically combat. Uh, no way. In a way. <laughs> the DM sure. Was adamant you that know what? Was sure. No fight rolls. I, th I, I, think he, I think you gotta, if you wanted to make that happy, you should have just saved that for the next game. Yep. I was, <laughs> I was genuinely wondering where things were going right about at the end because it sounds like. Cooking for a night. Okay, we gotta figure out how we're going to do that. Oh, we just need a place. I'm like, where are we gonna find freaking Toy Agumon? Get the junk shop to turn into a one night restaurant? <laughs> That's legitimately what I was trying to pitch. I was literally about to, as uh, Nick was uh, doing the end up, I was like, okay, as soon as Nick's done talking, is gonna suggest like we go to where I last saw him and we Switch that area, but then who after was like, "Oh no, I can't reveal my master plan." Make sure to write <laughs> okay. it down. Don't forget. <laughs> oh, I will forget. <laughs> we kidnapped Toyagumon. We held him hostage. A con and job of like the oh, turning who want to save him of turning a non-restaurant establishment into a one-night restaurant. Shittily drawn sign on cardboard above the door, and he's just like. Oh, yes, this looks like a proper establishment. This sounds like an Adam Sandler movie. <laughs> I I, I mentioned it before, at, at both as a bit earlier on in stream, as well as earlier on to you guys in, in private call and things. Do not dare Ocean's Eleven me on my own show. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing I need is a Brennan Lee Mulligan situation. <laughs> Because if that happens, like I'm, I will crumble. You you do realize who your players are, right? Yeah, I'm aware. Here, here's the thing. I I'm aware that you guys are ingenious. <clears throat> you guys mess around with a lot of fun stuff. You have interesting ideas on things. I don't think we've hit the point that I have to be concerned about you guys going. All right, guys, let's get together in a group chat that doesn't have Nick in it and talk. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. What anyway. happens? You have a bunch of writers. <laughs> Keyword. Not yet. <laughs> oh no! 
Oh, no, you're writers. I'm screwed. I'm right here as a writer. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, uh, <laughs> why? Why are we laughing about writers? I'm back. Uh, uh, basically, uh, Nick is cornered because all of us in this group chat are writers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was saying, I was like, nobody's, you haven't gotten together to make a personalized group chat that doesn't involve me to be like, how do we screw over Nick yet? Oh. <laughs> Hold on. The writers, uh, they pile. startle easily, but they uh, return. Uh, <laughs> great <laughs> number. I have to distract the... them. Uh, quick, bits. Money. <laughs> oh. Ah. oh, quick. You're, you're in charge of this group chat. Kick Nick. Oh, no. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. Actually, no, I'm kidding. Uh, Speaking of kicking things off to an end here, uh, before we close out one, we did have one last donation. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'll I'll read that off there, and then we'll we'll kind of say our closey things, and probably I would imagine close out right. I would imagine. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, so one, uh, Botluck Productions. Uh, thank you as always, buddy. I appreciate your your contributions to these things. It says. By a five dollar donation for Gary for oh, playing me. Kazam, you get a token. If that matters, it goes to Vanmon. I got a token. Thank you. No. Thank you for our shared taste in Kazam. Yeah, because <laughs> Gary spent tokens in order to help out with the uh, <laughs> the Vmon headbutt contest. Sure so he did. <laughs> so he actually gets that token. Woo! Um, last things as we are settling out here um if someone wants to type it into chat right quick exclamation point d i v e that is how you bring up the uh wait does it work when it's all capital let's find out yes it, nope, does. it does i know uh, i that is how you bring up the form so you can put in your own questions that will be answered on digimon D uh, digi destiny dive which is us going into all your fan questions and stuff, and uh, whichever amongst us are there for that session. It's more of a intimate, just these parts of stream kind of thing going on, where we, we just talk with you guys, interact, uh, answer questions, dig into the lore, dive in, if you will. Got him. Do we have a schedule for the first digi dive? Oh, it is next yet. week. Oh, we is what my plan next was. Next week. Oh, I was planning the way I was trying to plan dives was going to be after every five sessions we'd have a guaranteed one, and if for some reason we can't get a regular session in, that's when dives are happening. That's my plan at the bare minimum. If we can't get me there, then you know that that sucks, but that's life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll see. But my okay, plan was I'll... to have it this upcoming uh, Saturday. This is the first dive. I'll see if we can work with that then now. I'll, yeah, um... We'll see. There's a chance Grim and I may be busy on the 18th, so that might be a really good time to do dive if we're available. But we'll see. Yeah. Like, completely fair. But that that's, again, like I said, that's my plan. If we can't make it happen, then we'll make it happen elsewhere. Heck yeah. Uh, but we will post to you guys if we have it. I will definitely be able to, this coming week, uh, talk with you and we'll figure out our layout stuff then for that, Nick. Potentially sure. even sometime tomorrow I could even do if you end up free. Yeah, I'm free all day tomorrow, so we're good. Okay, I can I can do some of that there. Um, besides that, um, thank you guys, as always, for your donations. Thank you guys for your, your fan art that you guys do as well. <laughs> If anybody wants to contribute more fan art and they'll be added to the rotation role here, uh, you can do it two ways. Uh, you can either on Twitter uh, put at the Smuck Squad and then hashtag DigiDestArt as is on the screen there. Or you can join our Discord! Exclamation point Discord. Very nice. I, where did I type that? It just, Good question. Where happen. did you type that? <laughs> there we go. Um, and uh, right that we link right there. there will bring you to our Discord. You can keep the party going and have fun chatting about things in the server in general for all your, your smuck spun for Brid series, but also specifically in the hashtag digi underscore destiny Board, 
channel, whatever you want to call it, you can interact there with us, talk about it, keep the fun going uh, until next sessions and so on like that. Uh, you can also there find a rule set that Nick has made. So if you wanted to play your own version of this game, you'd have an outline for that. It's pretty cool. Exactly. Just know that, again, it's using the baseline <clears throat> kids on bike system. So it's a supplement to that. It's not its own standalone thing. I'm not that creative. <laughs> and Nick, how many uh, tokens does, does Vanmon have? Oh, right. I was going to do the final tally. Dear God. So after today's stream and after the usage of tokens with Vanmon that was necessary and absolutely required, or the shield tokens for a lot of you. Our current count of Van Mon tokens is 99. Oh my <laughs> god. That means before we subtracted, we were over 100. Yes, I was you were. joking when I said we were in triple digits. I was joking. So we are currently at 99 tokens <sighs> for Van Mon. Holy crap. And we are ever closer to sentience. Chat. <laughs> That's our better children. Got we love you. Nine problems, but Vanmon ain't one. Let me say this: if if veteran sees this part of the stream, we are screwed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're we're done. Unfortunately, that that. That's nothing I can do with that. I'm so sad. Vanmon's gonna be alive. I don't know. <laughs> also, oh, Pyro, no. does this level bar reset between streams? Yes. Uh, so okay. the way that this thing works is it only tallies when we are live. The fuel gauge counts from the point that stream starts till the end of stream, and then it will reset down to its uh, original state of zero. Any donations that happen off stream will not be. It's just the way it functions. I can't make it work otherwise that way. Uh, but they will not affect directly the fuel gauge. That, that I will always count them for uh, tokens and stuff like that and make sure that they are addressed on the stream when we get on stream. I, I always want to make sure you guys get your recognition and things like that going. But I just, I can't physically, there's no way to make it so it counts off stream. Completely fair. For fuel. Uh, okay, so that, that pretty much, I think, settles up everything there, so... Wait, someone sent $5 now? I don't. Someone's oh my so god. The excited. chat was talking about that. It's like, someone quick, send $5. <laughs> I don't know if it happened, but if it did, cool. If not, then we'll just wrap up and we'll We have we'll so many people to worry about. They're, they're all a threat to Ooh. these things. <laughs> no, all yes, them. they are. In any well, case, wrong. Did. Okay, so, uh... We're going to end off with, uh, as per usual, if you want to follow the fine folks here, how can you do that? Well, we are all on Twitter. Uh, you can follow our great DM, Nick, at Nick A underscore the VA on Twitter.com. Correct. You can follow Red Beast at red beast vfx at god dang it you just had to go and do it didn't you uh yeah <laughs> what i do not you uh um, <laughs> on oh, on twitter.com do it again you can follow storm scold at storm s-t-o-r-m s K U L D scold A L D A L D scold. It's the old S -K -A -L -D. term. K A L D. Uh, on Twitter.com, uh, you what? can follow Coffin Jockey at Coffin Jockey on Twitter. You can follow Grimjack at Grimjack uh, with two M's. I want to make sure I say that because I actually found out one time someone didn't. Do it with two hours. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, on Twitter.com, and you can also follow me at P-Y-R-O-M-G on Twitter.com. And last but not least, of course, if you want to just keep up with all the shenanigans, just 
at the Smock Squad on Twitter. Dot. We Woo. got one more donation that came in before we capped out. Yep. <laughs> yep, sure uh, did. Read it mm-hmm. real quick, and then we will call. Uh, uh, so this is Demonic Inc. Uh, donated five dollars. Nope, you make think. it a hundred. Uh, and that means Demonic Vanmon's Inc. at one hundred. <laughs> Ridiculous. So, with that said, it's supposed to be only theoretical. In mm-hmm. theory, yeah, in it's it's only possible for the power of faith. But now that we have our our digi destined pretty accurately secured within Data City, figuring out a way to both earn money, figure out what's going on with the supposed Royal Knight, as well as learning how they're going to access the D terminal proper, we will leave it at that and. See where things go next time. So until then, have yourselves a good night, Digi Destined. Good night. Good night and goodbye. Good night.